We are on. Hey. Okay, wait a minute. We ain't started. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, we on. We on. Wait, what? We're on. Oh, hey, okay. again. Hey. Was... We try to appease our video you... and our audio people. So. We going to get it together. You, you, told, you told us that you was ready. <laughs> right? I hear, I hear hate. Anyway, you guys, we are back. It's been a minute, and I'm going to explain why it's been a minute. But it's been a minute, but we are back. The podcast you all know and love. Really, bitch. And I want to, I've got a couple of housekeeping things real quick um, before we get this party started. It's after 12, so don't mind us. It's way after 12. I'm late. I overslept. Well, I technically didn't oversleep, but yeah. Um, Our unofficial official sponsor. We're going to stop putting them up there. They're not paying us. We're going to stop telling people this what we're drinking. Because nobody's paying us. Not no. yet. Not to mention anybody who knows who knows what you're drinking. Anyway, so a couple of housekeeping. A couple of housekeeping. Somebody um, go by. Next time you do a podcast from your house, just flash your bar right quick. See what's on there. Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. My bar is diverse. It is? Yeah, with vanilla. Yeah. <laughs> and honey. I got honey and jack. Wine. I got the cinnamon jack. Yeah. I got single barrel. Okay, my shit is diverse. Anyway, I'm so disappointed I had to cancel my trip to Nashville, which means I will not be going to the Jack Daniels factory. But damn it, it is still on the list. Aww. Yeah, shit happens. Life happens, and and we wasn't able to swing it this time. But I'm going to be getting. I'm getting there. Oh, Jack, I'm coming. I'm coming. All right. Um, housekeeping. We got a couple of things that we need to take care of. First and foremost. And I don't know if you guys saw this, and I haven't had a chance to really talk to y'all this week, but we have a meet and greet coming up on Thursday. Did y'all see that? I saw that. Yes. Okay, I thought I saw it, because I, I sent it to you guys, yes. but I hadn't had a chance to individually call y'all. But there's going to be a meet and greet Thursday at Busboys and Poets at the Brooklyn location. If you are in D.C. or the D.C. area, please come on through. It is from 6 to 8. Um, <clears throat> myself will be there. I'm hoping these knuckleheads will be there. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm hoping my co-host will be there. Oh, okay. oh, Is that better? Shoot. Thank you. Okay. Um, I know they, um, you know, work, have family obligations and stuff, and um, but I will be there with James Caldwell, who is a YouTuber. He has like twenty six thousand subscribers oh. on YouTube, yeah. so he's a very popular YouTuber. Yeah, um, Thursday. Thursday. James, this Thursday. All right, I'll see if I'm on a training schedule from now. Oh, that's right. I forgot you do no, your trainings on Thursday night. It's financial literacy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Financial literacy right here. Um, the thing is that um, I, I, I'm, we are his special guest. He's doing the meet and greet, and we are his special guest. So I'm thankful and blessed that he has included, I mean, decided to include us. It'll be a great opportunity for us. To, uh, opportunities? Mm-hmm. Opportunities. To meet some folk and um, touch hands and, and, and connect some faces slap and hands. slap some hands slap and dap some people up. So if you are in the D.C. area, you are free. Come on through, you guys. Have a drink with us. You know, or the appetizer. Have a good time. So that's the first um, housekeeping I wanted to share. The second house piece of housekeeping is... Um, thank you to all our new subscribers. If you're watching this on YouTube, I want to thank you. If you're listening hey, to it, thank you. all if right. you're listening to it on iTunes, go on over to YouTube and watch it too, so you can see right. what it look like. But we are on YouTube, we are on iTunes, we are on Google Play, we are well, we're not on SoundCloud right now because I had to chat. That's another conversation. Word. But we will be on SoundCloud. Yeah. I had to look, I lost my ATM card while I was in North Carolina. And I had to get a new probably, one. Probably not for the new Jack Daniels look. And I gotta stuff. update all my shit. I left it in the store somewhere. No, I'm sorry, I know exactly where I left it. I left it in the parking garage. The parking garage had we had to put your uh, card in to pay, and I thought I had pulled my card out, but I didn't, and I didn't realize. Shut up! I didn't realize I didn't have my card. I shut up! I didn't realize I didn't have my card until I went to go get gas. Thank God I had cash because the nickel was low. Oh, oh, I needed some gas. So thank God I had cash on me. Shut up! I left it in the parking garage. Not in the gate, no. And yeah, moving on. It wasn't, no. It was one of the ones where you get out your car, you go and you pay at the kiosk. Right. Wow. That's why you left it? That's First of all, and I wasn't the only one that's done it. When I went to the lost and found the next day to see if somebody had some, somebody had actually maybe turned it in, the, la- the lady told me, she was like, mm-mm, my husband done done it, some other people have done it. So it's real easy to do at that particular location. I wasn't the only one that did it. Neither here nor there. You forget how much stuff you have on your auto drive until you got to update all your... I was getting emails from Hulu, Netflix. Now you can't watch your flicks, though. <laughs> 
your account has been temporarily. Right. right. <laughs> so you know, Netflix sends you this cute little um, email talking about some Houston. We have a problem. It's, or, or we know we know life happens. Please update your payment. So right. you know. SoundCloud, I just forgot to update it. So I'll update SoundCloud. Anyway, with that being said, <laughs> we are up to. Y'all ready for the number? Y'all ready? Know how many subscribers we have on YouTube now? What's that is? We are up to 760. What? 760 people what? like us. Y'all yes. like us. Y'all really, yes. really, really like us. Y'all what? like us. Y'all yes. Like us. Y'all yes. Like us. Really, really so like if you right. are, and now if you found this by accident, if you just scrolling through YouTube and you clicked on this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and like our video. And Probably share it. Somewhere down here if y'all see the video. Yeah. And share it. Like share it like, out. Give it to like people. Right like you look down, it'll be right there. Don't worry about it. Just click it. It's red. Okay. <laughs> it is the red button. The big <laughs> red button that says subscribe. And share it. Share it with your friends, you know, post it on places. Now, before we move into our topics for the week, I have a couple of just two quick two more quick real quick announcements. Alright. We have not taped in a while because I have been out of town. I have just had the most remarkable experience in my life I, it, like on real talk it has changed me like I'm no longer the same person like real talk um, it was a institute it was a program no, I wasn't in the institute it was at the institute okay, okay, I was you were in the institute <laughs> <laughs> that we never changed we me we knew it <laughs> oh, we knew it All right, turn. I was at you a program Facebook photos was fake go ahead I was <laughs> I was at a program at Duke University studying the civil rights movement through a grassroots perspective. And those who do not know me at, through my day job, my day job, I am an educator and I'm a huge history nerd. So for me, this was like heaven. I was able to meet... Understatement. Yeah. yeah it is an understatement. It really is an understatement. understatement. I was able to meet people who actually were on the front lines, people who were part of SNCC, people who went into these rural counties and signed up farmers and lived among the people and dealt with being shot at and their lives being in danger and being beat up and people who participated in the sit-ins and like people like people who you read about in books like names I have read I am now shaking hands with I'm now taking pictures with who have invited me to people you know who endangered their lives for something good exactly How people who that? have sacrificed beyond anything I could ever pay back um who I'm now like on a first name basis with who are like, look, you know, a couple of them live in DC and was like, look, when you, we gonna hook up, make sure you stay in touch. And I was like, okay, right. like, all right. You know, so I was totally a fangirl. Um, ah, exactly. Beyonce. Exactly. <laughs> right. For me, my Beyonce, right. Y'all was, in, y'all was on, on the run. I was there and I was, and the way y'all yeah, was excited, was that's where I was excited, <laughs> you know, and, um, people whose books I have written, you know, able to talk to them about their books and their research, signing my books, you know, that kind of thing. So it was definitely an eye-opening experience. So I was trying to get um, a show done before I left because I knew I was going to be gone for like three weeks. Just didn't happen. I had a lot to do in a little bit of time, and I just didn't get it done. My birthday fell in that time period. Like, it was a lot of shit going on. <laughs> yeah, because I, you know, I had to nah, celebrate. Yeah, sure, there is that. <laughs> it says that. Um, I was going to do a show while I was in North Carolina with some friends of mine down there, and that shit just didn't happen either. So, needless to say, that's why it's been such a long break. But we are We're trying. Irreplaceable. Yeah, y'all are irreplaceable. We're irreplaceable. You How must not know about me. Our really? job's secure. Did y'all just, job, job secure? Our job's secure so far. That's so right. Far this job that getting paid, paid free 99 for. Woo! Right. Woo! Don't forget to file them W-2s. Um, but yeah, so that's. Wouldn't it be tonight? Shut up! All right. Why you always going to correct me? I was just asking. I ain't even. All right. You make so sick. <laughs> anyway, with that being said, I just want to let you guys know that's where we've been. We are planning to try to be a lot more regular. Um, that don't it's go nice. nowhere with that. Yeah, don't go nowhere with that. Um, we're gonna we getting our we getting our football um, episode together now. Getting ready for the upcoming season. Oh, wear my t-shirt and my hat. My t-shirt and my hat. Okay. okay. Are we I've starting nothing. already? I've got nothing. Are we I've starting got already? Got nothing. Okay. Me. Um, but we're going to do that. <laughs> so a good. couple of things we it's won't talk about. Right. A couple of things we won't talk about today, like the NFL, the new helmet um, rule, the 
um, stand well, up, well, sit down, kneel, don't, don't kneel. We don't plan on talking about it, but well, we, we don't plan on it because we, we want to talk about that next week, or I'm, I'm trying to plan it for next week. And then I am also going to plan a very serious episode to talk about all the things that I've learned. Um, yeah, I know your face. Yeah, um, some You're of the. Only because I want to try to get together some women because I want to talk about what I learned from and a woman from the women who participated right, in the right, movement and, and all the things they starts. contributed. So honestly, it'll probably be mostly women. But I want to say this before we get too too far into the show. We're gonna get started now. But I brought you guys some things back. I so, so I have like gifts. Only do, just, I have gifts. So the first thing I brought back this is a calendar. It is um. History of Radical Injustice. Now, it is a 2018 calendar, so the year's almost over. Did I say racial? I said radical, didn't I? You said radical. I can read, though. Racial justice. Um, This is not kid-friendly. So this is for you. I don't know if I should give this to you, because you're already angry enough. Give it to her. (laughs) What's the worst thing that can happen? um, It's a great calendar, but it it gives you a lot of um, things that have happened um, race wise and are not so pretty so it's not kid friendly I know both of you guys have young ones it's not kid friendly however there are some very great some great information in here that they live in this area they need to know the other thing I got you guys were some stickers um, that you could put on a notebook or something but it's for the SNCC Digital Gateway SNCC is, was one of the um, this is one of the sponsors of the program I was in and they, um, they you know, right snicked the student non-vibing coordinating committee. Right and the they, uh, yeah, off the break, like the first picture is very, that's what I said, it's not kid friendly. That's what's up. But um, if you guys, um, anybody out there that has children, blah, 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 this is a great resource to help your kids learn about the SNCC movement, a lot of pictures. Um, Mary and Barry all up in there because, you know, Mary and Barry was the chairman of SNCC before he became the mayor of D.C. He was very active in the civil rights movement. People don't want to talk about that. But anyway, we're going to go there. <clears throat> um... What's up, angry man in the house? Yeah. It's all good, though. How you doing, angry man? What's up? <laughs> thank, thank you for sponsoring us today. Right. Thank you for, <laughs> thank you for sponsoring us, you know, in your house, you know. Um, but, yeah, so, all right, so that was 10 minutes of, of our housekeeping. So, let's get to the show. Let's get to the show. Um, so, first and foremost, I want to give a shout-out. Now, we're not going to talk about football, but I do want to give a shout-out to Randy Moss for that fly-ass tie he wore at his Hall of Fame ceremony last night. You know, he was inducted into the Hall What you laughing about? No, seriously. This is real talk. He was inducted into the oh, Hall of Fame man. last night, and his tie had the names of a lot of the victims, um, oh, like Alton man. Sterling, um, Tamir Rice. Um, you name it, Eric Garner, like uh, Trayvon Martin. So his his tie was it had it was a black tie, but it didn't go in writing. So I want to give a shout out. Like I said, we're not gonna dwell on that because I do want to talk about it next week when we get um, the group together. I'm, I'm invite it, Don Juan will be back hopefully. Um, we're gonna have ghosts um, it's football in season, the house. So it's football season, so we gotta so, bring. So one, they gotta oh, come. They gotta come off punishment sometime. I guess it'll be this week. <laughs> you know, that's a good start. Is that a good start? Okay, good start. but the rule is okay. nobody starts drinking until we start filming. Can we make that a rule? For them, right? <laughs> can can they stick to the rule? You can make it all you want. Wait a minute, it's for them, right? I don't understand. <laughs> I'm on the show. Like I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Anyway, there's a reason why they were there's a reason why they were bad, and so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Shit. They weren't bad. They weren't punishment. They weren't punishment. They right. weren't punishment. They were not banned. They were just indefinite time suspension. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> they were suspended for four games. Um, yeah. So, so that's just my quick shout out. But again, we'll talk about more in depth next week. Now, let's talk about some other sports news this week. Um, someone who I've not been the greatest fan of, who has totally won me over, and has. All the accolades for me I could ever give. LeBron James this week opened up his I Promise School in Akron, Ohio. It One, actually opened. Yeah, it actually opened. It wasn't like, you know. He just the, announced. The, 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 the other, other ones. That, right. And did he announce he was doing this or did he just like hit us with the one too? Um, I don't know. There was. Yeah, I didn't hear about it. Because I'm not a big fan of him, so I don't follow him like that. So I don't know if this is something he told people he was going to do or if he just hit us with the boom. Did Beyonce and just drop it on us? Just drop it. Right. Hit us at midnight with a brand new album. Like, yeah, here you go. (laughs) School started at 8 o'clock. What school? Right. right. (laughs) School? I was going to a new school. Right, right. You know, I mean, clearly people in the area must have known, but I'm saying as far as it being, like, outside news. I don't remember I don't hearing think anything it was. I don't about, it. Much about it. But really. definitely shouts out. The one thing I love is that he worked with the Akron 
um, school system. So it is a public school. It is not a charter school. Um, and y'all know I have my feelings about charter schools, so I'm not gonna we ain't gonna go down that that yellow road today. Show. That'll be the rest of the show. So I'm not going down that that rabbit hole. But I want to give a shout out to the fact that it is a public school. Yeah. Um. I think that should be pointed out. It is a public school. Absolutely. So which means he's working with the act, the city of Akron. This is his community where he grew up. Again, people. Oh. All right. You know what I think might have happened. We having technical difficulties on yeah, the audio side. We all having technical difficulties. Fudge sickle. Fudge sickle. Ladies and gentlemen. I know what happened. I know exactly what happened. Haven't all heard, right. Haven't heard that since nineteen. Never mind. Go ahead. Okay. This may just this may not be your audio this week because I know exactly what happened, but we're not. I know what happened. I ain't paid the bill because I it didn't draft, so it only gave me fifteen minutes instead of our normal. Uh, so that's what happened. So it cut off after fifteen minutes. It is what it is. I'll update it as a teaser and tell people go to the YouTube channel. Anyway, so, <laughs> so um, yeah, but we'll keep it moving. We'll yeah, keep, it'll be all straight by next week. It'll all, yeah, it'll, it'll be all straight by next week. So with that being said, like I remember I said that I was like I need to update it, but when it worked, I ain't think nothing of it. I didn't pay attention. My bad. Moving on. So um, among other things, um, the kids it's free tuition, but it's a public school, so it shouldn't be no tuition. But anyway, free tuition. Um, Kids get a free bike with a helmet. They free uniforms. They get um, three meals a day. Well, they get two meals and a snack. Mm-hmm. Um, free transportation if you live outside of two miles. Because I guess if they figure two miles, you can ride your bike, your free bike to school. Free bike. You know. <laughs> I mean, that's why I'm at. I mean, I don't, I don't have a problem with it. You I'm know, you, if you within two miles, you can walk and ride your free bike to school. Come on, DCPS. <laughs> If you went there, walk it. Well, well, DC, well, DC make they okay if you gotta take three buses in the subway. Right, and the subway. You still get there you on get your own. School. And then walk up hill to get there. Yeah, in the snow because they don't close. Because I had to catch two buses to school and walk up a hill. And they don't close in the they snow, ice, rain, whatever. Oh. DC don't close for shit. They open late, but they don't just ain't. I wouldn't say this though. From what I what I've read about it, it's like wow. Um, it's like how public school pretty much should be. I don't know about the free bike and all, but everything else, like the way it opened, it's like. It's going to be open. It's funded. It's And if you graduate, it's there. you get free tuition to the University of Akron. Now, you're yeah. more than welcome to get a scholarship somewhere else, somewhere. but you just know you got that ace right. in your back pocket. It's starting with third and fourth grade. I'm going to let you go. Right. Third and fourth grade, right. and they're going to add a grade every year until it's a fully, Fund, fully. until it's fully, what, K through 12, I think it eventually wants to be. Go ahead. Right. No, so I, think, I, th- I think it's a wonderful idea, and I, I'm not a LeBron basketball fan either, but I respect the man and his vision. Absolutely. Not absolutely. just for himself, but for his community. You might even buy LeBron, you know, jersey or something now. You ain't going, you ain't going that far. Wow. Oh, wow. You're not going that far. Going that far now. Okay. But, I don't um, be a hypocrite. I respect the man. What I'm just saying, money. I mean, I support that brother. I respect the man that with his money, and he put it out there. And he didn't right. really make it about. Uh, um, this Damn. is what I'm doing. That's what I'm saying. Like, I didn't even hear nothing about it. Heard hey, about Angry, Man. Angry Man might know because he read a lot of shit. Had you heard about the LeBron school before they, he dropped it on us this week? You had, like, what did you hear about? I thought he was starting his own school. And but, for kids to go to the Akron. Okay. But you knew about it before he made the announcement? I knew about last year. Okay. All right. No, yeah, no, no was, the reason why I say because I know he read a lot more shit. You know, he read a lot more shit. I, 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 I heard. I heard it from a girl who we work with who's from Akron. Okay, so uh, it was a local thing that she heard about. Because I know the people in the area had to have known this was happening. But again, right. I'm just wondering. I don't. I don't remember ESPN running those stories on this. I don't remember. Now they talk right. about him. They they talk the whole four months about what new team he's gonna be with. Right. But I don't remember them saying nothing about him opening up. Okay, I'm just wondering. I mean, I'm I just think, wondering. Um, Shannon Sharp did something on that whatever. The show he's on. Undisputed. Is it undisputed? Not undisputed. It's undisputed. I like Shannon Sharp. Come on, skip. Like come on, skip. Come on, skip. Come on, skip. I think he just commented on one yeah. of the yeah. things, but they didn't get into it. Right. 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 And yeah, you're right. There was a like a like a blurb, a, a blurb about it, but I didn't pay no attention because I, I remember hearing like a blurb about, about it. Talking about they opened the school. Yeah, just so say everybody like, talking about you know uh, everybody coming out with an album and opening the school. That's what everybody every athlete gonna open the school and come out with an album. Yeah. <laughs> right, so I didn't know about this. Now this. So we don't know who's gonna drop first. Bro. I mean, right, right. <laughs> uh, Donald Trump hated on so Well, yeah, Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Damn it. It doesn't even matter. Everybody knows who we're talking about. Agent Orange. Agent Orange. Oh, what he called him? Right? He called him stupid or something. Yeah. I mean, yeah, no. talking about I like Michael anyway, and then Michael shut him up because Michael was like, I respect LeBron. I mean, 
But do we have to talk about no, Trump? He's a fucking we idiot. Don't. Like beyond anything else, he's and a fucking idiot. And we're gonna end it right there. I mean, but so uh, we're gonna talk about LeBron, and that was a great job to not just talk about educating, talk doing for his about community. It. Yeah, and he definitely, definitely giving back to his community. It. it wasn't even like he talked about it. He didn't throw money to a charity. Right. He, oh, he and and he's got he some great the whole deal. Right, he's clearly got a great team. It's only third and fourth, but. But that's where you start. Like, if you try to do too much, and I think no class size, as a teacher, I can appreciate this. No class size is going to be larger than 20 kids. Thank you. As a teacher, I can appreciate that. Um, he's got a staff of 43. And these are all, for, again, from my understanding, these are all kids who have been identified as being either below grade level or having some sort of, like, a problem. Yeah, you said they were at risk. These are at-risk at risk kids. Risk. Yeah. So, again, we are reaching out to the most so. underserved of our population. And the other thing I like about this is that there are going to be adult classes, GED classes for the for parents. parents yeah. Because again, yeah. again, we've got, that's where we have to really tap into is the parental involvement. Right. So I definitely, I 120%, I can't do, I can't yeah, give enough shout out. Like but we love, we love, out. we love to sit back and say, oh, the parents at home not doing nothing. No, not doing anything. But if I'm a parent with a fifth grade education and my child's in sixth grade, mm-hmm. they're, they're beyond my help. Or if I'm working three minimum wage jobs Thank because you. all I have is a fifth grade education, education. I can't I can't come right. to a parent teacher conference. Right. I can't walk my kid to school. Yeah. I don't have the energy or the time exactly. to stay up and help them with their homework, even if I understand it. So there are a lot of different elements that go into that. And I know as, yeah. a, as a parent, I mean as a teacher, an educator, I'm real quick to criticize parents. I know I am. Um, I am. I'm real quick. Everybody, I am. Everybody has that thing. I am. I mean, I have but my, I do. I have mine professionally too. But I do also acknowledge the fact that in some situations, it's not that parents don't want to be right. quote unquote good parents. You know, like I don't. Most people don't have kids to be bad parents. Like that's just not why you do right, it. Like most saying. people. Most people are a trifle, but we're not gonna go down that road. We'll get to that later. Some people just we'll oh, get to we, the trifle we, we'll later. later. Yeah, we'll get to the trifle okay, later. Cool. I was wondering if I have any input this show. I mean, sometimes <laughs> you know you're talking, you're doing whatever, and I get it. You got caught up in the moment and popped up this person. But, popped um, out, caught up in the moment and popped, popped out this out. person. I, 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 I love me when her. I was gonna say you got there fucking and sucking, and then that's what I was going to say. But I was trying to keep it nice. So but what, who? Right? <laughs> who are you being nice to? But I mean, it is what it is. To who? Our seven hundred fifty subscribers. Yes, <laughs> they see my halo. <laughs> 760. I'm sorry, seven hundred and sixty. I'm sorry to ten hours right, late. My bad. Right. She finally got to correct me on something. I correct you a lot. That doesn't mean I'm right. I just correct you a lot. Okay, and next. Can you tell we like each other? All right, go ahead. I know, right. <laughs> but bottom line. Respect. I know respect I know Jalen Rose he, has a school. It's a charter school, though. And again, it's, I'm not taking nothing away from it. He has a school. Um, but I don't know of too many other athletes who've done this. I, I mean, I say this to anybody that was uh, hating on LeBron's school. Actually, any other athlete. Who the fuck was hating other than that Asian one? Hey, it uh, no, I'm not being funny. Like, who else did you heard about that was hating on it? Comment section. That's all I'm saying. Okay, comment, comment section. Comment right. section. That's all well, I'm saying. But the comment section always going to have some It don't problems. mean nothing. But go ahead, right. though. Go I mean, ahead. All I'm saying is, I mean, even, um, you know, Asian Orange, I'm like, wow. How is it that... But his school was a fraud and he was so How was it that... No, that was a university. Yeah. Still a school. How is it that, um, you know, private citizens mm-hmm. took their money... Mm-hmm. And um, put something together that was better than what the federal government was supposed to provide in the first place. Did our taxes fall pays for? I'm like, wow. Oh, big, nice, pay teachers and everything? Whew. That, oh. I wonder how much his teachers get paid. How much that? You bought a move? Hell. They <laughs> the price <laughs> is right. Look, we bought, the, we, the price is right. We bought a pre record this over, yep. uh, over Skype. <laughs> yeah, we we're going to be in Google um, Hangouts or we're something. We're going to hang out right, and right. record this show. <laughs> Yeah. Everybody had to watch this with the three foot. The was price great. is right, man. Everybody lost my light office. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, all about the Live from Africa. Right. Woo-hoo. Um. Yeah, I mean, you know. But that's great. That's great. All right, so locally we have an issue that's coming up. It's hit national news, but it's a local issue for us who live in this area. So we got the white supremacist coming to town next week. Okay, okay, okay. Welcome. Yes, there's a Riley going on. Angry but, Man walked back in on us. Right, Angry Man, Lord, Angry Man, and walked back in. And, um, the, and Metro. Got it ain't the first time they've been here. It's not like... This no, it's not, but after Charlottesville, though. Yeah. This is the All first right, time after fair. Charlottesville. So we have the Metro has decided... Yeah, it's a big-ass rally, absolutely. Rally. 
And Metro's decided that they are going to have private cars for the white supremacists. Now, why? Wait a minute. Is this VIP treatment or is this man face? <laughs> is this VIP treatment or is this protection? This is fucking VIP treatment for the simple fact of fuck you. You lit the match. You wore the hood. You got your damn tiki tor- torches. Now you deal with what the fuck happens to you. How dumb! I'm not shocked by your response at all. Because you can't sit here and say I'm going to act a certain way, but I don't want to deal with any ramifications Wait, that come from it. What are we protecting them from? I mean, they're going to have a demonstration. They're going to have a demonstration. It's not the first one they've had. No. Mm -hmm. They've actually Mm -hmm. walked. They did the whole, um, what is it, March on Washington almost walked in the head. There was no protection. There was no protection then. I mean, it was cool. Nobody um, died that I know of (laughs) at the time. So why do they need escorts from Metro? That's all I'm saying. Do they need private cars? Do they need them before? They drove their RVs straight down Pennsylvania Avenue. They parked. They got out. They scared. Of who? I don't know. I, I thought just, they were superior they race. I, <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were superior race. Who are they scared of? That's I true. Know, That's a good one. That's a good one. I don't understand. I don't understand. I, I see fear. you made little cars. They scared. They, and what are they scared of? I mean, they, they use I mean, their Jedi mind trick on that. So they're in superiority. If they're the KKK, I'm sure they're real good on the um the laws of the Second Amendment. They probably already researched what was happening. They good. KKK, cousin kissing crackers. That's what that shit says. Oh, cousin, cousin kissing crackers. Cousin kissing crackers. crackers. Alright. Cousin kissing crackers. Okay. All right. Word. I like it. I like Let's it. Hold on. This is this is because I want to make sure we get all the head movement in. <laughs> and everything. Alright, just go ahead. Alright, there. Do it again. Cousin kissing crackers. Cousin kissing crackers. <laughs> Alright, cool. Cause Yeah, I mean I- Okay, because the thing about it is you would not do the same thing for the um, Stay Your Ground movement. You didn't do the same thing for Black Lives Matter. So why the fuck do these they people... for the Women's March. Oh, the no. Million Man March. I don't think that happened. Oh, 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 we just caught the We just caught the bus. Farrakhan ain't getting no special treatment get down here. I mean, what's, so, what's the problem? Farrakhan probably Wait, did, but we. I'm saying, but you, 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 didn't, you didn't hear a special metro for the Nation of Islam. Right. Or at least Farrakhan and his people, his direct people to come downtown. I mean, you know... It's their right. It's their right to have a demonstration. What I mean, come on, this this KKK. They funded, aren't they? Mm-hmm. And everything. They got a damn government official. They got my own. They funded, I mean, they funded. I mean, and they're actually catching the metro. Do they gotta pay? Wow, they're catching the. They gonna catch the metro. Why are they catching the metro? They don't have shuttles. Y'all couldn't afford to have them have shuttles. No, really? Come on, y'all slipping. All the old school, worn down school buses and trailers. Oh, I mean, so they they bring their whole house here. Bring, I'm also bring your damn double wide. <laughs> they bring their whole house here. Why in the fuck do you need special <laughs> cars from Metro? What's wrong with you? Yeah, bring in their whole house. Bring your whole house here. I mean, my family. thing is this. Y'all good? I see both sides of the coin. I don't. No, listen to what I'm saying. I see both sides of the coin. Not so much protecting them, but from the point of view of if I'm riding the Metro, I don't want to see their ass. Let them have their own train because I don't want them in my space. No, roll your sheet up and your hood up. Put it in your backpack and put that shit on. But the khakis are going to give them away. The khakis and the button up shirt and the skinhead. I mean, do you get what you get? I mean, what? You, you, you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It can be another one of those, um, because... Conservative women's church meetings going on at the, at the uh, at the uh, arena downtown. Hold up, I mean, who, John, who's going up? If John Bob, his brother Daryl, and his other brother Daryl, they should be show Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> well, get their ass on the train with their skinhead and all their paraphernalia and their swastika tattoos and all that. But Wear your shit proudly. Wear right. your shit proudly. That's how you feel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you out. That's get on the green feel. line. And get off of Anacostia. Yeah, do that. Do that. And walk. And that's that's your best way to your destination. Yeah, walk from di- walk. Do that. Get on and I, I, ask for directions. Right. Ask for directions to the. There's going to be a dude at the corner in a lawn chair. Well, yeah. not a lawn chair, but a family chair. Matter of fact, look. I know all of y'all not how uh, me described you. Some of y'all doctors, lawyers, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and all that. Mm-hmm, business yeah. owners, entrepreneurs, and all of that. Right, right, right. Look, have a line of buses. There's a big chair. <laughs> have the buses meet this at the big chair. Have them meet at the big chair. <laughs> Everybody in DC knows they can they can tell you. Don't even worry there. about it. Yeah. Meet at the big chair. Right. Right. Matter of fact, that's one exit. Yeah. Now it's time. They can meet at yep. the big chair, the buses go right over. And it's a parking lot right there at the big right. chair. You can park the buses there. Right. It'll be fact, safe till you get back. As a matter of fact, if if the leaving time was eleven, the shops would be open, y'all get a sandwich. Some yeah. Yeah. Don't ask for a sandwich. Support local businesses. And you know what? And look. Yeah. <laughs> no ask for a pookie. 
Ask Ray Ray. Ray Ray Ray, a man man, Shamika, Juan Keisha. All of them can help you. You yeah. know, they can all help you get you where you need to go. On. Where you need to be. Matter of fact. The count demonstration won't even be there. They're already going to be downtown because they know which routes to take. The metro. They're already going to be downtown. Oh, they're they going to beat you there. So don't even worry about that. But if you take the That's bus down, like real talk. pop over the exit and come in and look uh, by the archives. This park right there. As a matter of fact, that's probably where you had to park anyway. Park right there and get out. It'll be great. Don't even worry about it. Don't worry about that. The, uh, real talk there. though, y'all. Wait, what's the name of the Who owns it now? Who owns what? <laughs> MC? No. What, the Verizon Center? Capital. Capital One. Capital One. Capital One. Capital One. I'm about to say, I know they were rising on. I'm about to Capital One. I'm about to say, I'm Go to Green Turtle Apple. It'll be MCI. great. It's still MCI. 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 Right. But real talk, y'all. Like, real talk. As DC, as DC Washingtonians, born and raised folk, what do y'all think? What do you predict for next week? Like, seriously. Do you think that the, the park service and local police and all that, and I'm sure they're going to bring in some national folk, do you think they'll be able to maintain the peace, or do you think we're going to have an issue here? You know, honestly... Real talk for us, I think we need to be careful, especially the state that the because country is everybody's in. everybody's looking at the counter demonstrations. Nobody's looking at that. Right. And then the yeah, thing about it is true. because we know the police aren't here for our protection necessarily. And we, like you just said, they're not just how I jokingly describe them. They are lawyers and doctors and congressmen, politicians, police and everything. Right. So we don't know who walks on what side. Um, I'm all for people who are going to do a counter protest. But be careful. Know your laws we try, before you try to break the law. Um, and go in groups. Go in groups and, and don't be the hothead. All I'm saying is this is happening in D.C. This got to be the roast capital of the world. You ain't got to touch nobody. Come on. Just use your natural talents <laughs> that we have talk of trash. Roast, a.k.a. Jonah. Jonah. So, so this Stafford, is what I'm going to say. Kevin. <clears throat> but something you, said, something you said that's valid. What you said, and this is what people who, especially you guys, have to understand is the police are not going to be here to protect the counter protesters. They're going to be here to protect the people who have the the, the, val- the valid mm-hmm. permits. And Correct. the person with the valid permit, they are the the protesters. But the, the counter protesters have to have a permit too, as well. But it do just, they? I, if they? If they so, if they plan on, plan yeah. on oh, okay. Then I take that back. Then I take that back. Then I take that back. Then I thought you could just show up with a sign. <laughs> but I mean, they're the counter protesters. They're not. They're not. The counter protest is not what's. In the headlines, they right, not, right. They're not what's the yeah, deal. So be careful. So, Anybody that's planning on going down there, be careful. Um, you know, you can't and, get arrested for talking. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. Okay. Don't go, don't go down there with exactly. Don't go down there with agenda to fight. No, I'm telling you this. Don't I'm gonna say that Mika saying it. She's talking. She she actually looked at herself. <laughs> in the she was talking to herself, Trump. right? I'm telling you herself. this. I'm telling you. We'll take next week at. during the, the protest so that we will all be here and not be on the train downtown. Yeah. Don't go down there with the intent of starting violence. Um, don't destroy your own city. You think they let me on the VIP train? Would I be able to get on? I would love to be on that train. I would love to be y'all on that train. Like, if I put on a hood and they don't see my y'all would be like hands. Richard Pryor and what was it? Was it Bustin Loose? Bustin Loose. I would love to be on that train. Or my boy on um the um the um. The my, new movie is coming out? No, not the new movie, oh. the, um, but that one's too. But no, um, Dave Chappelle's joint, where the, the, he was blind. The blind, he, black, <laughs> white, yeah. verse. I've never seen that. That is my show. favorite Dave Chappelle's joint. It's, 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 it's on the first it's episode. The Yo, first episode of the first season. That shit. Season. Yeah. I don't care what nobody say. That was my, for all the seasons, that was still my favorite skit. <laughs> he was blind, <laughs> but he was black, but he was a white supremacist. So he was white? Because he was. Yes. He was adopted by he a was, white family. He they, was adopted they, they by a white family. And so he was like, so it was a scene where he was, KKK. right, but he was blind, so he didn't know he was black, and nobody ever told him he was black. It no, was they a, never told him he was black. It was a scene where he was at a um, gas station by his mother. was, the dude, the dude went in to get gas. His mother was on our hood, Jeff. <laughs> right. And they was like, we should just kill this nigga. Kill the nigga! <laughs> they ain't know you was talking about him. That's just. I don't know, I'm talking about No, go back. It's gotta be. It's gotta be on no, Netflix. I, 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 I have a box set. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh my gosh, that. Don't worry, about it. I got it. Oh gosh, that's the funny. I've never, I've okay. never seen. I've, I saw one partial episode. Something about a. You never shop. saw any of the days of him. Something about a barber shop. Give it and to the me. Guy was, um, Give it to me. No, you can't have it. Give it to me. No. Give me your black no. card now. <laughs> hey, you ain't never seen none of. And he a DC is on. I know. I've never. Seen. Okay. I, no, I think when honestly, I like, I think, I I like when, how I like how more offended we are that Mick has not seen the spell show that we are the KKK is coming to the next. I couple. mean, I like how just this we, show, you know, this I think, I think when the Chappelle show started, 
Because damn it. I think when the Chappelle show started, I think I was in grad school. So whenever I was in school, I would always kind of like cut off. Like I didn't watch TV. I didn't do anything but just study. You know so, how all this education they, that uh, me in class be talking about and I don't never say nothing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't never say nothing. So, yeah, I think because it started around the early it started around the early 2000s. So I think I was finishing up undergrad, starting grad school. The classic is still laughing at me. Go ahead. <laughs> when the show came out. So in my time, I really caught up to it and, you know, I think it was going off the it air. It makes me wonder if I'm an actual contributor or she just likes me here for comic relief. I don't <laughs> Can I say both? Right. Is that a fair answer? How smart am I really? You smart. You is smart. You You is kind. You (laughs) is important. These niggas. (laughs) (laughs) All right. All right. Go ahead. Okay. All right. But we'll see next week. Um, Like I said, we're going to... Maybe I should strategically plan to film... To take the show uh, while the protest is going on. So I know all my folks. I I said you're going to have to protest in front... I'm not sure. No. 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 I think. I think it's Angry Man. No. No. Oh, is that? Oh, is that? Um. Who the hell is that? That's Tim. Oh. Okay. This is okay. So. All right. Pause. Pause it. Pause it. We're gonna pause. Don't stop it. Pause it. I know. What the nigga for? What I. All right, we I'm back. Right, we had right. like a little moment because somebody came in the front door. <laughs> Mink was about to pull out her nine, right, so we had, had to we had to calm everybody down. down. Break it in we got big dog in the house now. He off camera, but he here. Right. He just rolling up in here like he. You know what I'm saying? He just rolling up in here like he no folk and stuff. I'm like call, like, I'm like he call. related to people that live here and stuff. You know. I'm gonna call him Steve because I don't remember none of that. Right. <laughs> Mink got dead in her backyard. We keep telling y'all we in the boonies when we come to Mink house. We keep the dead chilling. They trying to get on camera Look, too. It don't get scary till we got bears, so we good. Probably out Actually, there. wasn't there any there bear that they caught somewhere in uh, Long County that, somewhere? I thought it was a lion or something. It was a mountain lion in PG County. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I mean, close enough. Yeah, that lion. Lions. 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 Oh, my. Yeah, lions. lions. Okay, so I've never... Okay, the, the conversation we had off camera, though, was about... I've never seen The Sandlot. Is that a movie I'm supposed to have seen? Yes. Why? Because it's a feel-good movie. Feel-good. Make you feel good. She don't I know. thought that was on Pornhub. No. I mean, <laughs> I, I have a book. subscription to that too. <laughs> <laughs> Who has a subscription to porn? I have a subscription to that too. I just said it. I ain't scared of you, nigga. What kind of VIP shit is on a subscription? I ain't scared I of you. We're not going down that rabbit hole. I don't know porn, okay. so I don't know. What? Oh, no comment. We found out who's a free subscriber on this job. <laughs> <laughs> no comment on that. We found out who's a free subscriber. You want my password? Shut up. I might. We'll talk, not, we'll talk about camera. I might. We'll I'm, not, I'm not a porn person. This shit just unbelievable. I need, I need, it is unbelievable. Is this supposed to be believable? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed I need, to be believable? Yes. I need plots. I need plots and I need scenarios. They have uh, movies. They got plots. They have whole movies. The, piece, oh. the pizza boy showing up? The bomb chicken bomb. See, no. I, 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 no. The pizza boy, no. What was the last time you seen a porn? The 70s, nigga? <laughs> 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 what the fuck? They got whole movies now. <laughs> <laughs> they have... You know, whole adult. They got like screen They got like spoof songs and stuff, like oh, really? like babes in the hood, set of boys in the hood. See, so they got like spoofs and shit. I did see a Cinderella porn that I heard. Well, she had a slap in vagina. And um, what? Yeah, and Prince Charming was trying did to find her. Did you say slap her? Snapping. Okay. Was snapping okay. vagina. I thought you said slapping. And Prince Charming, he was like, it was like an orgy. So he was trying to find a chick with the with the snapping vagina. So instead of going to find a shoe that fit, he was going through town having sex with all the chicks. Find that that's actually an interesting storyline. Like, if you're gonna do a twist, that's actually an interesting twist. Yeah, so it had a story. I watched because it, it had a storyline to it. All right, okay, cool. So, all right, we're gonna get off that. She real quick. Let's move. Let's move. And though. from porn Four. to Four. black Four. pastors, all right, <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, which might on. be one of the on. same. Hold might on. be one of the same. Before you start that, though, was, was it an hour and a half well spent? A while ago. I think so. It was a good movie. Oh, okay, good. Good I mean, movie. so you remember that? Good plot good acting. So, was Blood in the Pooty Tank? <laughs> we had I a like conversation Pudy over call. Over I like Pooty Tank. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Face and I had a conversation prior to the start of movies that I wasted my life watching. I was wondering if the porn was better than Pooty Tank. And one. yes, it was. Okay, that's all I asked. Pooty Tang. Son of mine on the city, man. See, don't stop that shit. <laughs> got a tie, got a tag. See, there y'all go. <laughs> I sat through Pootie Tang for the whole two Super hours. Child running by. <laughs> <laughs> there hey, you Steve, go. Hey. Hey, See, there you go. I sat here the whole mm. time through Pootie Tang. Oh, 
goodness. waiting for that him to get hit in the damn head to learn to speak some damn English. What the fuck was wrong with him? I just it was a waste of my time. It's two hours of my life I will never get back. That's how I felt about Jeepers Creepers. And then they had to learn to make a sequel. No, the first one was good. No, it was not. It was, first, a, it was a big one. ass bat. What the fuck? It was not the first one, Actually, the first one was okay. The no, it was, was not. Garbage. Garbage. The first one was The horrible. one it just put out was actually was actually good. The third or the fourth one. Like, whatever's on Netflix right now. I haven't, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. It was, one it was terrible. That's two hours like, that I'll never Because I wasn't going to watch it. Because I, I was with Classic for a second. Because after seeing, like, the sequels, I was like, ah, they ruined something that right. was supposed to have been a good premise and all of that. Right. Yeah, because I'm like for, for the time it's supposed to pass when he show up, I'm like, why does it look like the regular like nothing's nothing changed? Right, right, nothing, right, right. Nothing. Right, right. But see, I wouldn't know because I've never seen it ever again. Okay. But whatever. Whew, okay. All right. So um, anyway, black passes. Black passes. So this week, um, you trying to get all this? All right, go, shut no, up. No, I'm not supposed to see that. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Black passes. Black passes. Black passes. All right. I black passes you. met with Donald Trump this week. And actually, I was very disappointed in one of the black pastors that went with John Gray, who's somebody I actually kind of like. Um, he defended himself on CNN, trying to say that, Did he? excuse me, that he felt like, you know, that we should always go to the table when invited to try to let the other side see, you know, their side. And he felt like Is God, he felt like God told him that that's something he needed to be doing as part of his ministry. Here's my problem. I don't trust anybody to start a conversation with what Jesus said. <laughs> but that ain't how he started it, but he put it in there. But here's my problem. Jesus told you to be with Donald Trump. But here's, yeah, he said that. But here's my problem. Something that was said on um, Bill Maher on Friday night was like, you can't meet a bigot halfway. Mm. And that's just how I feel about it. Like, if Donald Trump was somebody that was actually trying to hear other sides and actually have, try to have dialogue and have some common ground or whatever, that would be one thing. But this man has proven and showed to us over and over again that he has absolutely no interest, no desire in having a dialogue and being open to anything other than his opinion. So how y'all feel before I, I want to keep going? You know, how hey. do you feel about it? Oh, you want to look at me first? Yes. I mean, because right. I already I know. Was, look, I was, um, whew. <laughs> I mean, if you don't have an opinion. No, nah, I have an opinion. Like, when, I saw it, when I saw it, when I saw it happen, it was kind of like, Black Pastors doing what? It was kind of like a... Uh, now, what? a couple of them Black Pastors, pastors have been with him. One. The but, deer are just chilling. So we moving on. Uh, wow. Because the neighbors to cut their grass. Oh! And then you ran, Bambi ran off. You scared him. I'm sorry. Look, go ahead. Let me go ahead. Before you look. You got to take a drink. All I know. <laughs> all I know. When I saw it, it's just like, are we surprised... Okay. Because if you're going with that party and you about money, then that's the party you go with. But my whole thing, it was like, I was more angry with them when I saw the photo and I was reading it. I'm like, I might have to forgive Steve Harvey right now. <laughs> Why? Why would you have to forgive Steve Harvey? Because he was at the beginning of the whole... When he actually thought he could talk to him. Right. He was at the beginning of the whole All right, I see your Trump point. era. But now we're a but year and a half in. Right. It's like, uh, how... I realize you know, almost two years into this shit, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So it's like so now it's like I mean I mean you know what I might have stopped like uh, recording the show now and seeing if he still. I look at Celebrity Family Feud. Cause it's like, uh, what are y'all doing? What are y'all talking about? And then y'all had nothing. Right. You nothing. had nothing. I can see if y'all went there with something. You had. Did you see what the one pastor nothing. was like? That he felt like Donald Trump was like the most like gonna do the most for race relations, like of the race ever. No, no, he no. has done the most for race relations. Yeah, in a negative way. I'm Sorry. saying, but he's done the most. Starting That's up, true. you can't dispute yeah. that. You, you cannot right. in dispute a negative that. way. In a negative way, you right, you right, you're right. I mean, and then he had some it. negative to say about uh, about Obama. Talking about some Obama didn't feel like he had to talk to black people. He had that conversation every morning when he looked in the mirror. I thought he did. We talked to his wife. We talked to his, his kids. kids. Right. We talked to his family members. He had a conversation on a regular basis. When you, when you, I mean, wait, what did what did Obama owe us again? Exactly. I don't remember nothing. I don't know. I don't know why people thought Obama owed us anything. Exactly. Don't get me started. That's that nigga hookup shit. This right. It's politics. Right. And Obama just gonna run through the streets and just just handing out reparations. <laughs> He's the president. Yeah. Like, please, yeah, black people. Please yeah. get off of reparations. No, I'm not. I want my reparations. Okay, to what? To slavery! But how much do you want? 
I don't know. And what do you want? I mean, I give me a calculator. I'll figure it and out. And that's fucking. I'll just take out forty acres and a mule. You know Can what? I get forty acres and a mule? You know what? You know we, what? Got, we don't. You know we don't even have, have enough forty acres and a mule to give away. You know who had the probably the best, the best like reparations plan that I've ever heard? Oh Lord, who? <laughs> ever? It, um, she's so there. Okay. Patrice O'Neal. You know, rest in peace. Go ahead. Right. He had the best solution. Not just to give us a uh, lump sum of money. Because, you know, what niggas do when they get a lump sum of money for nothing. Go on the Louis Vuitton. <laughs> he said... <laughs> Go to the Mercedes dealership. Black people should be exempt from federal income tax. Ah! <laughs> and now that I can go with... That I can work with. For federal I like that idea. Just so way you can so, build wealth. Right. So thank you. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Yes. Don't yeah. blame like your parents. And, and you then I move somewhere like Delaware where I ain't got to pay state tax. And I would. I would. I would. I would. I would be on board with any march you want to do for that immediately. Because damn, I you know what? How much I of my money down. I would still have in my pocket right now? Man, let's not even have that conversation. I could have paid my car off three years ago. Well, the lady from uh, Second City, she had an idea too that we should be first uh, in line for the weed business, the legalized weed business. I'm, you know what? I think that's a great idea too. Since because we're, we're still in prison now from the 80s, 90s of selling weed. And white people are not making the most okay, so money off of that, that's, we're not doing the weed system. We okay, so we should yeah, be first in dibs, first in line. For that business, I don't. You know what? I'm actually a, I'm cool with that too. It's because a million business it's right so. Now. I was going to say it's so much money in the weed business. Uh, is is and it just multi million? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Billion. That's, that's what we're no, I, I think Alaska. Some I just read something about Alaska got so much money. They, they don't know what to do with it. They don't know what to do with it. I know they can do with it. They right. can my bank account. <laughs> you know. Now, yeah. Speaking of the black pastors. Yeah, tell us what you think. Before, Come on, before as a black you pastor. go to before the, the come the, on, AKA Steve. You must prepare yourself before you go before your enemy. You must gird your mind and your heart and go there with a plan. Dr. King met with LGB, LGB plenty of times. He still was reluctant in what he wanted to do, and he had to break that man down to get what we want out of this man, to pass bills, stuff like that. They went with the, the, the good intent to change as a man, but they wasn't prepared for what they were in for. And I, your point is valid. I agree with that. What I'm going to say about this is um, LBJ was a racist. Mm -hmm. Good old Texas boy. But he wanted to do something for black people. He had personal reasons yes. for it. So, so what I'm saying is, you're, you're, I agree with you that yeah. that that Martin Luther King went and met with people who were not necessarily in side, favor of yeah. him, but they were they, they still went in with an open heart or an open mind, I should mm -hmm. say, to say, look, I don't know what needs to be done, but mm -hmm. something needs to be done, yeah. and let's have the conversation. I don't think Donald Trump had that. Well, that's what I'm saying. They weren't prepared to go before this man. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, yeah, they yeah, went, yeah. He used them as well. He, like, he used Steve Harvey. Yeah, absolutely. That's a photo op. Uh, yes, yeah, so absolutely. And when that one black guy sat in there and told him he was the black president that ever came along, he was just cooning for I just want to know who else is still in his church this morning. Who showed up for his service? And so he, and by him doing that, he set the rest of them up. Yeah, he did. Failure. Yeah, he did. He did. And it made a lot of sense. That was valid. That was a very valid see, point. And, but my, my problem is is that it's I don't, I don't, I don't know if anybody does that anymore. Mm. Does like, what as a whole, like, like go pay, like the actual have. Mm. Because it's too easy to be famous now. We because mm -hmm. you, you can shuck and drive. Famous too easy now. Mm. He shuck and drive to the president. I mean, once upon a time, um, like you can you can go on Twitter or Instagram and be famous now. Mm -hmm. And like if you actually have some importance, you meet with somebody that's already some like the president. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, you have some fame. Once upon a time, you actually had to be famous hmm. to meet the president. Yes, the, you the fame curse came first before they met the president. Right, you know what I'm saying? Somebody. Like you actually yeah. had to be somebody. somebody. And there's some substance. I mean, of something. something. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? That wasn't um, you know. I mean, who who was a classic actor or actress that you that you can think of? Um, hey, hey brother Fonte, City Portier. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, you could Twitter them mm. or right. Facebook them and tell them your opinion right. to them or whatever. Right. You actually had to write a letter or right. send it right. in. And, and who do you write the letter? And, I was wondering who they who they write a letter to. To the studio and, and hope right. and hope that they answer it and all, all that. Right. But they were known because I got they some people I want to write letters to. You have to. Girls. Every, everybody looking right. for fifteen minutes now. Everybody. Can well, get because minutes. and like you said, because it's so right easy right now. Time. It's too easy. And it's, it's and easy. and people don't care how they get it. They don't care if it's negative or positive. They just mm -hmm. want the attention. Right. You know, and 
So that's my only thing. Like I, again, John Gray, I was very disappointed in uh, because I just felt like he does okay. so many positive what things. Did, what, what did he do? When he was there. Did you know what? What did he do? Did he I don't care the fact that he went. He went with like the intention what the rest of them did, but he let the one guy, other guy, speak too much. The other guy said too much. I, I didn't. I don't know what everybody said around that table, but the photo op was just for Trump to say I met with you black people. Exactly. And, and then one, the and, and the one sound black, bite was yeah, that, that one, one sound bite. Right. You right. Mess up everybody who was there. Now John Gray put him praying with the president. What you supposed to do? Pray for your enemies. Right. What you supposed to do. Right. Now, you now the rest of them, the one lady, she pat him on the shoulder, whatever, whatever. Okay, fine, whatever. You have to go. You have to be led by the spirit first before you go do anything, go anywhere, and meet with anybody. Because they, they allowed, I don't know, he just said the God led him to the, I don't know, but you have to you have to pray before you go before your enemy. So mm-hmm. you see the traps, avoid the traps, and be the voice of God. So do you think that's and, how they went in there? I don't know. Okay. They said they, they did, but did they? They couldn't. But they couldn't, because that man that's, said that's, 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 that's yeah, the yeah. thing he's supposed to But that's the dude that's been with Trump from day one. Like, he was on his um right. his evangel committee was, and all yeah, that, he, evangelical. He was he was but I'm saying he's been there from the, he's been doing that type of stuff all along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my... My whole, I don't know, thing on the whole thing. It's like, uh, know, know your enemy. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't a thing about uh, culture and all that. This is a business thing. This is business. Mm-hmm. So you know you're coming to business. There's nothing nice or spiritual about it. Mm-hmm. Look at what it is from the outside in. They went there for prison reform. That's what they went there for. Mm-hmm. Well, so, I don't know what they got, what they got so you mean to tell me that Kim Kardashian got more done on prison reform than a room, a room full of pastors, yes. black yes. pastors? Yeah, she got some out of prison. That's sad. Yeah. That's a sad state That's what I'm of affairs. Now, what are you going to do after this meeting is going to be a testament to what they did led there by themselves with the garlic in there. But the thing is, you have That's to true. know when you're being used. Mm-hmm. And like you just said, they were being used for photo ops, so Donald Trump can say, "See, I know black people." Way to put this back. Uh, black people so we love just gotta me. Put back. Yeah. We just gotta put it back. I meet with black people. I, they black people love me. Yeah. And personally, we just got that monopoly card. Go back three spaces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> three, three decades. <laughs> Go back three spaces. That's basically what it is. That does. If I if I was a person of power, position, whatever, and Donald Trump wanted to meet with me. I heard someone say, oh, well, when a president wants to meet with you, you have to go. Mm-hmm. No, you There is no don't. law that says that. No, you don't. I'll turn it down. My thing is, yes, yes, if Donald Trump, is Agent it? Orange, was to call me and I was a power position and said, can I meet with you? Honey boo boo, no. Honey boo boo, no. Because again, again, I say. That's like an extra hell no <laughs> wits on the right. side, son. Because again, I say to this, and, 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 um, um, uh, uh, big, big, big town? Steve! Big dog, big, big dog. Big, big, name is Steve. The point is, the point Steve. is valid. My only issue is, like I said, I don't, I don't feel like. You you're not meeting on equal ground. This man has no intention uh, of yes. making this a fair fight. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So that's like, you know, meet me at three o'clock and you show up with some nunchucks in your back pocket. Right. You didn't come right. with the intention of it being a fair fight. You showed You up. came in, so like you said, the, the the whole purpose was a photo op. First of all, this not to get political, but first of all, he does things to change the, the he changed to change the conversation, to change the direction. Mm-hmm. So we want y'all to stop talking about the fact that, you know, my ex-chief of staff is on trial and stuff is crumbling around me. So, ooh, look over there. I'm beating with black people. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And so part of it... And my side chick's getting a new show. Good. Right. She got a show? Part of it is that... She has to. This is America. (laughs) (laughs) This is America. But so part of it, part of it is that. But yeah, so that's my whole piece on it. And like I said... Coolio got his own reality show. She has to get one. Oh wow! Well, cool. Actually, cook that was a nice cooking show. Okay, anyway. He got three plus left. Stop playing. He does, and, and he's, holding, back here. he's holding on for dear life to them. I mean, I'm gonna need you. He got the that same. That go. If you that serious, just get a wig, dude. He got the same braider that I'm seeing one again. She messed up the classic. God, we goddamn. Anyway. But I mean, so yeah. Uh, so like I said, um, and John Gray, he did go on CNN and try to defend it, but I just. Yeah. Yeah. I think I do think he went in with the intention of thinking he could have a dialogue, but my thing is the work in front of you speaks for itself. Like, what made you think that you were so different? I understand you so feel you, like you're anointed and you know by so God or whatever. But what made you think that you was going to do something that nobody else has been able to right. do? But whatever, you are out of the cookout. I, I, well, you know, I put that on my Facebook. Right, he that's why uninvited. I said it. That's why I said he is uninvited. So the other person who's um can't get into Wakanda. 
Oh, he definitely. Oh no, he can't get into out of a condo. Yeah, okay. he is. He's been kicked out of a condo. Okay, he can't get into no. a condo. <laughs> what kind of? What kind of? No. Dang, you just be excuse me. Today. I know. Excuse you me. You got all kinds. Of, what's that? Was that, the, is that did we order some food or something? No. Was that Uber Eats at the door? I wish. It's just I wish. Does Uber Eats deliver out here? I don't know. They have to. They got. They don't like deliver to my house. How Uber Eats not deliver to your house? They don't. They deliver to mine. The last time I checked, no Uber Eats. Word. This, yeah, I mean, it was the first time I checked. No restaurant. Show it was one right? restaurant, right? The first time I checked, it was like one restaurant that came to Uber Eats, right? Then the second time I checked, they were like, "Sorry, we don't have nothing Wait, coming to your area." A small human just walked in. I don't. And they taking food with them, but it's cool. What? She clearly was expecting them. All right. I mean, it's whatever. Why are you worrying about it? I'm not worrying about it. I was just you interrupted my conversation about right. Uber Eats. Go ahead, Uber Eats. But yeah, so the second time I checked the app, they were like, we don't have nothing delivering in your neighborhood. But I haven't checked in a few months. So, I think the last so, time I so checked was probably like the last time we had a snowstorm. And I was like, hmm, let me see if I can get some food to eat. That was a long time. I said it. Since it was winter. I said that. I said it's been a couple of months. Didn't I say that? I mean, I was just, winter just ended two months ago. Don't play. Winter I just mean, ended. I mean, depending on, your, depending on your point of view, it ended last week. Right, when it just <laughs> ended. But yeah, I think it was one of those days where it was like bad weather or something. And I was just like, hmm. All right, make it back. We can start like, I know show. I have like two places that deliver that. You know what I mean? Like, can, anything other than pizza or Chinese food, let me see if something else will deliver to my house. And I try right. obese. But you, even though you're, you know, you, you're you closer to stuff. Yeah. You're closer to stuff. Anyway. Right. Now, McDonald's would deliver one. But who wants, who wants McDonald's to Uber Eats? Well, first of all, Uber Eats charge you $5 just to deliver. It's four ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, he right. He tech. He right. Technically, give me my penny. Let me ask you a question. If you give somebody four ninety nine, I mean, if, if the price is five dollars, you get a four ninety nine. Don't you want your penny back? Don't you want your penny back? So it's not the same, is it? Woo woo. And she's trying to get a full face back in. She is trying to pull her face back in. I'm just saying. I, can't with these two. I don't know why I bought them. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You want your penny back. Look, I'm about to be mate next, so before, next podcast, and she's going to be phased because she's trying to pull her face back in. <laughs> so, it, so for four ninety nine, I'm going to have to order truffle damn fries. What? A okay, truffle? Okay. I'm hoping that you're saying trough. This is how we get off topic. This is how we. If why I'm, are we talking about order, fries? If I'm ordering a milkshake and fries from McDonald's, the delivery gonna cost more than the fucking food. Why would no, you that's true. That's what's the, well, not only that, but they'll be cold. Who wants cold fries? Why would you order Uber Eats for like no, side items? No, I had a lady who would eat a um. What's it called? Them blended drinks, the vegetable drinks. Oh, like a smoothie. A smoothie, yeah. She Uber she eat Uber, a smoothie. She Uber eat a smoothie. That's, that's beyond lazy. lazy. That's beyond lazy. I was gonna say that's taking lazy. Be see, damn. that's part of what. See, that's why I'm what I said. America. And then she wanted me to knock on her door. I was that shit that shouldn't occur and drive off. Oh, you do Uber Eats too? It's part of Uber. Uber. Oh, it is. See, I yeah. thought it was a separate entity. So if you drive for Uber, Uber. you do Uber Eats. You have the option to turn the app off. Oh, see, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, I mean, but you, hey, I make money off of you. Want if you want to pay me to deliver a smoothie? Uh, uh-uh. uh I'm telling, I'm telling you right now, the Uber Eats ain't worth it. It's not. No, because oh, okay, I was downtown and it was yeah, one of them. Even Steve shaking his head. Like, Steve nah, like, nah, nah dog. Nah, it's nah. one of. I was downtown and it was a restaurant that's I, in one of the new gentrified alleyways. Yeah. So you gotta find a parking space somewhere. So you gotta. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. when I dropped it off to her again, the bitch ain't gonna come outside. So I had to like, you want your, you want your damn smoothie, you need to come get it. You got ten, nine, nine come eight, get it. Seven, yeah. Okay. And she on some narrow two way street is nowhere to park. So my puzzle park on West Bubble Fuck to walk down the street to bring you a smoothie. Not gonna happen. I put this shit in the curb and drive on. <laughs> You happen. better give me a five star rating, bitch. <laughs> right, right, right. Bitch, right. You better give me a five star rating. I ain't right. You better give my five stars. Right. Right. I, okay, so I mean, no offense to the two of y'all, but I do Lyft. Lyft and Uber. Lyft is better for the ride. And only because let me tell you why I stopped doing Uber. First of all, I don't use it that often. Mm-hmm. But when I do use it, the reason why I stopped using Uber is because the Uber app stopped working on my phone. I deleted it, re-downloaded it, all this of that. Phone. It stopped working. It wouldn't update my location. It was just like, it was do, tripping. Do Lyft do corporate accounts? I don't know what Lyft does. I know it works on my I phone. Know, I know Uber does. So, I mean, I don't know why, and it just stopped working. So, I was like, you know what? So, that day that it stopped working, I needed to use Uber 
So I just downloaded the Lyft app and I've been using it ever since. Oh, okay. And then Lyft do like coupons and discounts and stuff. The Uber oh. do that. I, I, I've never, I've never. I got an email today talking about I got 25% off for the next two months or something. I've never did a ride share. It might be because I was in an accident and I lived. Maybe that's it. Is that what it was? That could be it, yes. But I thought we were in Seattle. Wait, hold up. Time out. You can't just glaze over that thing. Right. I need to hear this story. What the fuck? No, when we were in Seattle, we were on our way. As a matter of fact, my mom, my dad, my niece, we were all in the, the Uber. I mean, the Lyft. And somebody rear ended us. It wasn't the driver's fault. Somebody rear ended us. No. And so, ever since then, I keep getting like these coupons. <laughs> it was my Lyft account. So, I keep getting these coupons like for the next three months, 25% off. I'm like, oh, y'all really trying to. Okay. This is how we get off topic. Let's get like, back. You was out of town and got it nice of that. I was. It was that in takes, Seattle, Washington. And it was skill. funny because dude was like, the driver, because we were in traffic, he was like, that stop and go traffic. And the person wasn't paying attention. And so we stopped, and all of a sudden he looked. He was like, "Oh shit!" And as soon as he said that, it was like, "Boom!" Wow. But it gave us time to sort of brace for it because I knew we knew what he was talking about. Right. Then we ran right to us, and it was like, "Okay, so you know, weed is legal in the state of Washington." Dude was clearly high, not the driver, the dude that hit us, right? Because he was just like, "Yo, damn!" Like his whole aspect was like, right. almost some high stuff, you know. Anyway, you about to cook, angry man? You making some fried chicken? That was yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, How you ain't call me for the fried chicken? And we are way off topic. Next. Let's back. Okay, so oh, the next that. topic is, so Monique defends Roseanne. <laughs> next. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, did y'all see that Roseanne interview when she was hey all over the head, smoking was. a cigarette to my, I thought the bitch was wine. Did you see that? No. You didn't see that? Oh, Google it. I got to go. No. That you know thing. What? I don't, I don't. Was horrible, horrible. First of all, how mad are we at Roseanne? I was, I was kind of over it until that. I mean, I wasn't over it like I'm gonna watch her show over it, but I was over it like, okay, she she fucked up, like she ain't the first person. But then when she did that and was like, I thought the bit, no, you didn't think she was white, no, you didn't. But I didn't think that was um, like she was serious. Like I didn't take this thing like she was serious. No, she was dead serious. She was mad because she was doing an interview. It was supposed to be her redemption interview. That was her Olivia Pope redemption interview, and she was trying to talk about I don't, like I don't, why she don't, made the comments that she made, and she was trying to say that well, she on. thought women. She thought Valerie Jarrett was white, and so that the comments weren't racial because she thought Valerie Jarrett was white. I don't. Well, I don't know how to take that. But. I mean, it's dead. Oh, oh. It's face okay. down with the wings I, on the on I, the back. Of, it's I don't dead. Really, I don't remember being there when I. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right, well, um, I, I mean, I don't know. Because you can say bitch, but you can't say goddamn it. Okay. Right. I like I couldn't even I explain this to you. I need I don't you to see this. She took this let me, And they told her she was stable filming. Right. She's a stand up. Mental illness as well. I don't think she's mental illness. I don't think she was. I think she was serious. I don't think. I mean. No, she was serious. She knew what she had to say. I mean, she said what she had to say. She knew what she had to say. But I don't think. Right. I don't, I don't, you, you thought this was a joke? You think she was joking? She no. looks trust as hell. She was dead ass serious. No. Hey, all over her head, smoking a cigarette. She was dead ass. That she was not. That pecan farm she living on ain't ain't bringing her. Right. I mean, I'm not saying that, that was dead. That I think she was dead. She's a nice person, no, that, that, But I think that was her. She's trying to be funny to somebody. I don't think she was trying to be funny at all. I think. Yeah. I think that the the I think she was. I think she came in with a script, and the producers would not let her go through her script. Because she kept saying, I want to talk about Iran. He was like, okay, you've explained that 300 times. Like, we want you to answer some questions. And she was just like, I don't want to talk about that. And he was trying to talk to her. And she, that's when she went off with, I thought the bitch was white. Because I think in her mind, if if she could get people to believe that she thought Valerie Jarrett was white, then it's not a racial right. statement. But that was something they put out that was off but camera. How, okay, right. so, but how did she... That's what they put out that was off camera, right? But no, how, he asked. She said, are, are you taping? She He said yes. Yeah. She knew she was being taped. Right. Well, how did she get to defend Monique is my question. So, no, Monique defended her. So, what yeah, happened Monique was, no, Monique was asked about Roseanne. And Monique said, that's still my sister in comedy. I still love her. People make mistakes. She was like, when I was doing my, my show, the Monique show, we couldn't get some hot, you know, we couldn't get some black entertainers to come on my show because their agents thought my show wasn't 
big time. And it wasn't. Well, it wasn't. And Roseanne Barr came on my show. She because said, she wasn't big time. Go ahead. I'm sorry. And Roseanne Barr came on my show. She said, and Roseanne warned me that people were going to try mm-hmm. to bring me down. No, Monique, you brought yourself down. Okay. Nobody brought you down. You First brought yourself of all, down. Monique trying to Monique trying to defend Roseanne is like a no arm man, a one arm man jumping to no arm fight. <laughs> it's like a no arm man jumping to the fight with one arm man. Both of y'all get your ass beat. What the fuck did she just say? I understand what you're trying to say. Both of them can't get their ass beat. Somebody gonna win that fight. Okay. If uh Monique has no damn arms. Okay. Because she ain't got a last. It's two dudes with no legs, but somebody got to pick them up. So somebody, right. And Rose got, Rose man, got, got one up. leg. Because Rose ain't got a little bit more notoriety right now than Monique. How the fuck you jumping to fight to help her? Monique, get your shit together. Get your own jokes together. Get some jokes that's come out that's not 1997. Get your own shit together. I'm going to need you to stop attacking people, Monique. I'm going to need you. And Rose, and my thing is. I don't remember. I don't remember hearing Roseanne defending Monique when Monique thank was going. You, to, did, did, did Roseanne come out and make a statement saying we should we should boycott enough Netflix? I don't remember no. hearing that. Did and you she, hear that? And she oh, not. Okay. And she not. And she's not. I'm just saying. So, I don't remember hearing all that. I don't Monique, know what, your show was ten years ago on BET. Ten the, years ago. I'm not official, but I let swear, that go. I'm, I'm pretty sure. If Roseanne wanted to, she probably have a show uh, uh, special on Netflix. She can get a show on Fox right now. She Fox and Friends will pick her up. She's good. I think, Monique, life, I think her life is okay. Nah, Roseanne. Okay, but Mon- but Monique, okay. Monique couldn't pay to be on the improv stage right now. She, she could pay somebody. Because, you know, she does, like, little small venues holding the wall. Back, I don't, I don't her back at home don't count. I don't understand oh. how Monique put herself back on open mic status. Thank you. What? Open mic. That's, 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 that's oh, like... Oh, you mean, like, oh, she, you think she, you think if she signed up for open mic, she... she like, she's... she's I, think, I don't understand. Like, I don't... I don't I mean, I mean, at this point, I wouldn't from, pay. From, I wouldn't pay to see Monique right now. Thank you. From what I know of the of the stand up comedy world, which is minimal, it just seems like the what, what Monique has done. She put herself back on open mic status, which is probably as low as you can go. Yeah, that's Nobody like knows the new comedians. You no might, you at a random club. Right. You might you may or may not get paid. You know how you in Vegas and you walk in the strip and somebody say hanging hey, in flyers. Yeah, yeah, that's Monique's show right now. Oh. I mean, she should be like on a contract with it. I mean, saying oh, that, that right? Somebody somewhere. Else. Yeah. But she had it. Netflix was gonna give her a show. And she Netflix was gonna. It just wasn't gonna. And when and here's the fucked up thing about the whole Netflix contract. Netflix said to her, "This is what we'll pay you, but we're open to negotiate if your show does well." She didn't want that. It wasn't like Netflix was like, "No, this is it, set in stone." Right. And. Monique, your biggest problem is your husband. Yes. But, yeah. let's, I mean, we ain't going to go down no, that no, rabbit hole. No, no, let's go down it. But, right. but Monique's husband is her biggest problem. Did y'all hear those tapes that she leaked with Tyler Perry? Which I think was the nail in her coffin. I think that's a wrap. Like, after she leaked those tapes with Tyler Perry, that means even black Hollywood ain't going to fuck with you no more. Wait, but you, y'all expound, don't know. Expound on that, please. I thought you, okay. So, a couple, this was about, I forgot, you don't, um, anyway. If it ain't if it ain't seeing in money, you don't know about it. Okay, so um, I, don't, I don't see the problem with that. So I don't see the problem. I didn't say you did. You saw <laughs> Apple is the first I, American I like, trillion bit tr- trillion yeah, trillion trillion. I'm what is so it? happy that you have stock at Apple. <laughs> I'm so happy with that. Right. I mean, I got stock at Apple, Please but continue. it's like not enough to do nothing with. But it's I, just, I, I can be like, I got stock at Apple. Yeah. I mean, I don't have to change my life with this. Yeah, they gonna change my but, life, but every once in a while I get a check for like three dollars. My kids, anyway, my, my kids will be obnoxious as shit. Well, that's my plan. That's your plan. Okay. My kids gonna be. So here's the thing. All right, no okay. real talk though. So what happened was about maybe about a month and a half ago, maybe Monique released tapes that when Tyler Perry called her. To talk to her after that whole thing went out about, you know, she was saying how she's, you know, the whole thing with oh, yeah, um, the last little tirade that she did. Heard, and Tyler okay. Perry was like, look, basically Tyler Perry was like, look, what is it going to take for you to keep my name out your mouth? That, he didn't say that, but that was basically what the phone call was about. Right. Yes, he was like, look, I don't want you to feel like you were ever underpaid. I don't want you to feel like, you know, that you didn't get what you were owed from Precious. So what is it that you think we owe you? And we and I will cut you a check today. He was like, I will get I will today. Right. He was like, I'll put a check in the mail today. 
And I mean, you I'm know. cash app you, bitch. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> he probably was. He probably was like, what's your cash app? Because right. it will be in your account today. And that's what the, the, the phone right, call was. He was I like, the fuck up. right. So the phone call was like, basically, like, I, I apologize if you he felt like he I've ever finished. done anything to wrong you. You know, he was like, right. I oh, never. I remember this. Right. right. He was right. like, right. I never personally said you were difficult to work with. All I ever said was that you did not meet your obligation that we expected from promoting Precious. Right. But I never said you were hard to work with on set. Blah, blah, blah. He was like, so what is it? And this is what he said on the tape. What is it that you think we owe you and I will pay you out of my pocket? He said, I'm not even making no more money off of, off of Precious. Like, because, I mean, it was 10 years ago. Right. Right. He was like, I'm not even getting no more checks off of Precious. But what is it that you think? Like, if you say a million, right. I'm giving you a million. Like, what do you think you were owed from Precious? And this is around the same time that the whole... Um, Lee Daniels, Damon Dash thing was going on. So right. I guess I guess um, this was the funny Tyler thing was like, I guess wow. Tyler was like, Lee ain't gonna pay you. So what you need from me? And instead of her saying, well, you know what? First of all, Tyler Perry didn't know he was being taped. So what? And his he was thinking this was a private conversation. Right. So first of all, all you had to do was get that man a number. And if the number was too much, I'm sure he would have said, okay, now I'm on Right. Let's meet in the middle. Like if you were saying two million, for real. right? If you were saying two million. He said, really, really? I'm sure he, really, he really, like, really, <laughs> really, really, get the fuck out of here. But he was like, what is it that you think? So instead of her just giving him a number or saying, you know what, I appreciate the phone call. I appreciate you reaching out to me. Let's talk about it. Let's sit down and talk about it. Or Because what I would have said to him was, forget the money. Put me in your next five movies. That's what I would have said. I just said, forget you giving me a lump sum right now. Can you put me in your next five movies or put me on your next TV show? Like, I done negotiated a job. Because, Monique, you need a job right. right now. And you need to build up your credibility. You need people to work with you again. Yeah. That's what I would have said. But, so... It's, I, mean, I mean, if you're so an entrepreneur, now, and you have so a brand in your career, and you're trying to move right. on. And so, instead of her famous, doing that, she look, wants... Because Little Kev is killing y'all. Go ahead. So, 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 instead of her doing that, so then she's going to say... Well, Sydney deals with the money. You're gonna have to talk to Sydney. Who? That's her husband. That's his name? Who? His name is Sydney. Yes. Sydney. Who? So instead of Sydney saying, you know what, bro? You gonna trust a nigga named Sydney? Let's. <laughs> Go ahead. Instead of him saying, bro, let's sit down and let's work something out. Because you mean, know you're taking this conversation. His name right? be Claude or. Uh, I'm sorry. Daryl. Can I finish the damn story? Go ahead. Are you about to be in time out? Don't do that to me. <laughs> I, need, I need my exposure. Right. So, instead of doing that, Sydney starts talking about, well, it ain't about the money, brother. It's, it's about the, the... He starts going off a whole nother tangent. Yes, and you can, hear Tyler, you can hear Tyler like, I really didn't expect this phone call to take this long. I just need... Like, he was like, look, Give me a figure. I, I thought this was, was going to be a quick, my bad, I'm sorry, how much you want. Can like, I, I really thought back? that's what this conversation was going to be. Can I call so then you Monique back? starts talking about... See, I don't want to talk to Tyler. I want to talk to Medea because Medea, that's a real bitch. You, you doing that old Tyler? Pe- Tyler was like, he laughing. He's like, Ty- he's like, Medea's a character. Medea's not real. Like you, he. This is his whole. He never got loud. His whole affect was monotone the whole time. So then Sydney still, he was so, so Sydney still talking about some brother. I don't understand. See, brother, you can't put a price on this brother. Tyler was like, I'm trying to. Though. But see, like, you can hear the whole, he was so frustrated. At that point. Then yeah. after all of that, so they, they get off the phone, then you're going to release the tape? How that was clearly tape? never meant to be a public conversation. Because you weren't expecting him to say that. You was trying to, you was trying to, How? you was trying to lure him into some shouting back. But the only thing she was, she was trying to say, see, Tyler really? said I wasn't difficult to work with. Okay, but. He also said, how much do I need to pay you for you to shut up? Like, that's also what he said. Like, wait, how, I don't see how, how that would, puts how you in a good light. How are you mad at a dude that owns his own studio? That's why I said I would have, that's why I said I would have negotiated. He owns? All right, listen for up. A Everybody job. that's mad at Tyler Perry because of Medea and everything else, he owns now. He owns his own studio. All them plays that we had listened to on the bus trips to Atlanta City. You know? <laughs> Wasn't it always? It was always a Tyler Perry play on the and bus trip else, to Atlantic City, though. Atlantic City, back and all the other <laughs> and bullshit. New York. All I'm saying is now <laughs> the man <laughs> owns a studio. He has shows on major networks. You mad at him because he wore a dress? You know what? His, once upon a time, you know his studio in L- in Atlanta used to be an old army base. That's how big the studio yeah. is. Get it's over an old army base. Yeah, Get over your bullshit. 
The song yeah. I'm saying. This yeah. nigga would have offered you a job. That's what I'm saying. Tomorrow. I would have negotiated a job. Like, forget all that check. I would have been right like, now. put she, me in your next five movies. Guaranteed. X, Y, Z amount of lines. But, but, it, but because... You're, and every, but everybody keeps saying your husband is your problem. Everybody has said that Sydney is the problem. Everybody even, has said... Even Gary Owen said it. Yeah, even Gary Owen what, said it. White chocolate? And if Gary Owen said it. Yeah, white chocolate. Because White Chocolate mean, came out defending Because Monique. that means his wife said it. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> White Chocolate came out. He defended, I mean, not defended Monique. I'm sorry. He defended Lee Daniels. I apologize. Because he went, because, you know, Lee Daniels, who did the, um, it wasn't Lee Daniels. Who did the, um, Steve Harvey movies? The, um, Think Like a Man movies. Was that Lee Daniels? Or was that Bill, Will, Will Packer? Will Packer. Oh, okay. He, because no, she said something no, about, no, 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 no it, wasn't, it was Will Packer. She said something about Will Packer. Yeah. And, you know, Gary Owens done, done about five or six Bull Packer movies. So he was like, nope, nope, what you not going to do? You ain't messing up my money. You ain't about to do it. Like, so he came out and defended Will Packer. Right. And that's what he said. He's hey, like, look, Monique, your problem. Hopefully, hopefully Classic tag you in this. But Gary, if there's any other, any time in your life you could have said nigga. <laughs> no. Don't do that to him. He cannot. Wasn't even that. But I'm just saying. I was about to say. Chosen. Don't do. Don't you set him up. Nope. Send your garage. <laughs> with your wife and kids right there. I understand. That's all I'm saying. Go but ahead. what I'm saying, but so, so he even said that. And um, Will Packer said it. Will Packer said, your husband is your problem. Gary Owens said your husband. Tyler, like, everybody has said your And if you listen to that tape, Matter go back fact, and listen to it. Will you shut up? All the bitches you're not talking to right now. Your husband is your problem. Okay, so where we stand right He's now. about to be a timeout for Monique. Me. No, go ahead. Monique cannot come to Wakanda, but Gary Owen can. Yes, oh, Gary Owen can come. Gary Owen got his own hut back there with Bucky. Let the white do the flu yeah. shit. The um, CIA do the flu shit. Yeah. 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 He can be a Wakanda. Yeah. Okay, so can we move on to so the next Gary Owen kill his own people for us? Yeah, he would. Yeah. He no, would. Because he, he think we his people. He said it on a special. Stop playing. No. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. We almost done. We at the end. So real quick. <laughs> real quick. So all right. We got a couple of reboots out there. Rumors. So I'm going to ask y'all. No, we're not going to skip over No, we're going to do that last. I'm just okay. going to do the reboots real cute. Okay. Real quick. Calm yeah. down. But we're also going to talk about, um, let's talk about Mr. Kelly, too. Oh. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. We'll talk about Okay. This real quick. Right now. This is- reboots real quick. Just right. real quick. So they are actually doing the, um. Murphy Brown reboot. If y'all don't know who Murphy Brown was, I still love that show. Yeah, I am too. I'm scared to go mess it up, but I got a I thumbs up on well, Murphy for, Brown. I'm a thumbs I, up on it. From what I read, they're just gonna say it's been 15 years, and Murphy Brown now runs the network. Okay, I'm cool with that. Yeah, so it's it's kind of like how and she looks did. good. So you can tell she's had some surgery. Uh, yeah, Candace. She looks good. She yeah. looks um, good. You can tell she had some surgery. Yeah, yeah because the, um, when she was on, what was that 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 um law show that she did a few. Uh, she did like the last couple of um, yeah, seasons. Um, I don't know her name. Was it um, Boston Legal? Yes. I bought her neck. She okay. had that we, that hanging out of skin realm. neck yeah. thing Anything on. But if you see her in Murphy, the the she, promos, because remember she just started wearing scarves around right, her neck to right. cover it up. She looked good. You could definitely okay, tell she, she had some work done. And she, she still, looked good. Does she still have uh, the dude that was painting her, painting her house? I don't know where dude. He died. He died. That's right. Yeah, he died. <laughs> That's yes. what I remember. He died. He died of drug overdose. Yep, he did. A little bit after Murphy Brown. Murphy Brown might still been on. Cooking lady, what? What? Martha. Martha Stewart. What on, um, Angry Man Stewart. is talking about. Oh my God, a threesome with Murphy Brown and Martha Stewart. And Martha Stewart. That's his Paul pass. I say let him have that. Oh, he got that one. I'm gonna say let him have that. I'll call it for him. We say I set it up for him. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. So Angry Man like old women. Yeah, he like old women. So you're safe. Well, actually, you might be in danger, girl. Re- he look, he might look cool. Right, right. you might look cool. He might be in danger, girl. Wait what? a minute. Is Rima he? Walking? Did he say Reba? Reba McIntyre? Yeah, actually, you know what? Are you serious oh, right now? Yes, you know Reba what? McIntyre and, like, you know and um, um. I wish it was Oh my gosh. I wasn't ready for Reba back in time. Yeah, Because did you see the dance? Did you see the dance he did? What the country to Hey, man, I'm not mad at you about that. Reba says I'm not mad at you about that one. Yeah. What? Oh, she coming to town? No, that's Gladys Knight is coming to town. My old, my old. I mean, um, if I was to go old route, it would be Sean Connery. My old route is um 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 Doctor J. Lord Judas Irvin. Yeah, now that's a fine. Ooh, you watch, that's you fine. Three, three. Round the back through the hoop, three, three. and I scream touchdown. Touch <laughs> yeah, hey. yeah, yeah, um, that's my, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Doctor J. Doctor J is a good one. All right, okay, all right. 
Let's so, get back. Okay, so reboot. Reboot. Yes. Yep. Now they're, they're rumoring facts of life reboot. Hope not. Yeah, that's a uh, thumbs down. Please well, not. I, are they still going to be living in the basement of Eastland? Like, really? Because th- remember the last episode of, well, the last, the way, Wait, the is, way. Is Kim Cole going to be the, um, the way, the first of all, it wasn't Kim Cole. The way um, oh, right. the facts of life ended, I remember, remember Blair bought Eastland. And she was running Eastland because it was getting ready to go bankrupt. Right. And she bought Eastland. She became the headmaster. She became the headmaster. So that's how, because um, that used to be one of my favorite shows. And I actually watched the rerun, so that's how I knew. And is George Clooney going to still be sweeping up the store? Nah, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. They couldn't even afford a, a cameo. He has time. He has time. He couldn't even afford no. So, all right. So that's a thumbs down. Uh, Live a single. That's a rumor to be out there. I've seen it. Yeah. It, it depends on how they're going to age the characters. It's going to depend on what they're going to do with the characters. Because they ain't doing no black guy in them. But are, but are they going to be living single anymore? Because think about it. Maxine supposedly had a baby. And Sinclair, she married she, her and um, Kyle. Well, they moved to London together. Yeah. I don't know if they got married. Sinclair got married. Sinclair Regine got married. got married. Yeah. And, and the Queen Latifah ran off with Black Lightning. With Scoot. <laughs> Frank, I just said that. You I know. know. I was you saying that. Like back. I mean, but so, he can do more than one show. He can double dip all the time. Technically, unless they put on CW, he's real good. Yeah. But technically, are they, they living just single just anymore? Across the street to the next lot. But we'll see. Like I said, all, it, it'll be interesting. Again, they'll be interesting. Never married. It'll be interesting <laughs> if they do if they do it. Now, I had an idea on how they could reboot a different world. I, I have a really good idea about it. But nobody, they, but they ain't talking about really rebooting a different world. Um... That we're talking about it, that's just I haven't heard the of last I heard could have been a reunion movie. Now I could do that. The, the reunion would, movie could be around. Everybody came back for Mr. Gay's funeral. I'm about to say that, that could be the funeral. Mr. I mean, that could be it. Mr. Everybody Gaines came back for Mr. Gay's funeral. Who wouldn't have come back for that? Right, because he fed everybody. And then you see what everybody's there. going on in there. their life. What everybody's yeah. doing in their life. Only person that probably wouldn't come back would be Jada. She need to come back. She know nothing else. She doing her red table talks, which are actually pretty decent. I saw the one with her, her mother, and her daughter talking about sex, and her daughter's friend. Yeah, they were actually pretty decent. I don't know why. I have, I, um, it's a few that I haven't seen, but the few that yeah, I looked at were pretty we're decent. On a road, but, we're, we're, but what I'm saying is, since she, I'm not, and I like Jada, don't get me wrong, but what I'm saying is, since she's not committed to something solid right now. You know, the she knew a lot of behind the scenes stuff. But what I'm saying, she can come in and kind of do, if it's a, if it's a movie, she can come oh, in. Oh, if it's a movie? Movies, yeah. I and just, I can see her doing that. Jada, yeah. Jada, Jada I mean, she, she would do it. I can see her doing it. She's not, yeah, she's not locked into anything when she has to be somewhere. Martin Reboot. That's that's no. a wrong. Stop! No. Yeah, no, that's not going. That the the the, the jokes no. wouldn't translate. You cannot. First of all, Tommy's gone. So what you gonna do? Right, and plus, look, so my nieces are finally like, oh, the, the jokes that didn't get when Marvel was on. Now right. they're like, like, ha, I get it now. Yeah, the jokes, but then cannot, also the jokes. It's around that whole '90s thing. Like right. the jokes right. wouldn't you translate. Cannot. And a lot of Martin's jokes, you can't do those jokes. I, I already said this. I'm gonna stop. Thank you, maybe. But Mike. I mean, yeah. All right. Um, all right. What was the other room I heard? What other reboot? Reboot. Reboot. Shut up. I Who's saw drinking? something. Um, the Sandlot reboot, the prequel. Oh yeah. The yeah, yeah. I'm talking about the Sandlot. But they have a Sandlot wow. part two. They have. Wow. They have it's the prequel though. It's, it's a prequel. prequel. The prequel is supposed to be a prequel. And I'm like, the they was in elementary school. Right. When the movie came they were, out, they were middle school. They middle went school. early. I mean, the, yeah. So. No, this elementary school around right here. But how, um... How, but it would have a definitely have a, um... I mean, if anybody remembers the original Sandlot in the ending, how are you going to have a prequel? It doesn't even make sense. You know what I realized? Okay, my It could always be a prequel. It's a story before the story. A little tidbit. The guy who was telling the story to so Dawn... Did. Conception? Because they was little kids. I don't know. I've never seen the movie, so I can't tell. Yeah, we've already gone through that. All yeah. camera, we've gone through that. Yeah. The guy who played the baseball player in the movie... The one who's actually telling the story. Oh, you ain't seen it. Yeah, right. The brother. Yeah. Remember when they fast forward so he was in um, a, a major league? Yeah. That's his actual real brother who played him as an older guy. Yeah. And the guy who played the kid, he became a L.A. firefighter. Right. And the guy who played his brother, he became a L.A. police spot. Police spot. Right. Um, police spot. And one of them was a producer. What, well, the one, the one who played the older version, he died. Okay, let's hurry up because that's smelling good. I okay. Gotta, I got to, and you know, I forgot to take my medicine today. All right. I got to get home. All right, so I look for the, the Kiki, the Kiki challenge. We were talking about that. Okay, so I want to talk about the Kiki challenge for this reason. Okay. I think it's cute, and that's my little Kiki. Do you like? All right, can I get my Are dumb ass camera out first? Ass. And I, I'm not gonna lie. The the cat Sterling Brown, the lady who plays his wife on This Is Us. This was so cute. They killed it. They killed they, the Kiki. Um, 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 um Kirk Franklin did a good one too. Him yes. and his wife did a cute. Okay, one. and that's another thing. People I'm gonna cr- take my dumb ass comment out the way what? because what? You know, what is we're trying to figure out. 
Who's Kiki, Kiki loves us. We still trying to I don't know who the fuck is Kiki. This was our favorite. And why A's is he okay. pick Kiki? He said twenty names in the song. But why I'm, Kiki? I'm just saying though, we just trying to figure out Andy's okay. We don't know if Andy's okay, but we still, we still don't know if Andy's okay. But we still worry about Kiki. Are you <laughs> okay, Annie? Annie. Andy we still don't know if Annie is okay. And we're we never going to find out. Annie's we a not. Now. Mike can't tell us. Maybe they'll be do a prequel to, to Smooth Criminal. I hope not. Janet will do it. Stop. We about to end the show now. I'm about to hit the, I'm about to hit the stop button on this bitch. Okay. She said Janet will do it. Annie, are you okay? The Kiki okay. Challenge. All right, go ahead. Kirk Franklin, a lot of people criticize him and his wife. Why? Because, because they said that men Because are, people think their opinion matters. He's a man of God and he oh. should have been doing it. Have people not known Kirk Franklin all these years? Kirk, Kirk Franklin, whose songs used to play in the club. Right. Does anybody know Kirk Franklin? Stomp. I remember Stomp playing in the club. And I remember halfway through, halfway through dancing the song, I was like, am I supposed to be dancing to this right now? Like, I remember. How if you hear me? Right. <laughs> Sauce, sauce verse came on. I was like, so this is still a gospel song. Like, I remember that. So does any why would anybody be mad at Kirk? Right. If anybody, Dude. Kirk would be that the one I would expect to do that was a, whole a dance Kiki tour. challenge. People criticize him, him and his wife. I personally don't Now if it was James did. Cleveland, we'd have a conversation. So Shirley Caesar came to the um, Shirley Caesar. Now Shirley Caesar would do it. Shirley, have you? Shirley Caesar Beans, would do Beans, it. Tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Yeah. I am laying there. Shirley, 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 Shirley. Shirley Caesar probably at her church this Sunday doing the Kiki Challenge. Watch it. It's going to go viral. Watch out for it. I, I don't find things for some reason. all Christians. Oh, no. Oh, oh, uh, don't get, uh-oh. Don't wait. get black man started. Wait, what you saying, Jermaine? Am I wrong? What you saying, Jermaine? Uh, what are you talking about? What you call Carnal Christians. Carnal Christians. Worldly. Worldly Christians. Okay, this is the problem I had. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I mean, if you live here. This is the problem I had with not to get over the whole Christian thing is we want we want we want to lock Christians to a box, and you I don't want to do that. I don't want to do this. Exactly. It tells you. It tells you you can be of the world, don't live by the world. So it's nothing. I personally, he, him, his, him and his wife. He went with some side hoe. He picked up on the corner. Right. His his wife wife for twenty something years. Right. I mean, if you want to be, and all they did was dance in their driveway. How many y'all can say that? They didn't twerk. You know what I mean? Like all they did was dance in their driveway. It wasn't that deep. It really. So sick of y'all. Y'all not even. Y'all even going to church with your original baby daddy? Something. Ooh, and moving oh, on to that note. Speaking but, of baby daddy, what's minute, the baby daddy's but, but I will say this. Oh, okay. With Kirk Franklin, him and his wife are people. Allow them to live their lives. If you right. didn't like it, you have to watch the thing. Now, if you're doing a Kiki Challenge, please be careful because I've seen people get locked out their cars. I thought smile. i see people get locked out their cars. Hit by, <laughs> hit, run into poles. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hit by cars. The, 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 the Chinese dude, a lot of them cars. Yes. Yes. That was hilarious. Who? Kirk Franklin. He's never yeah. been a minister. No. He's an inspirational gospel singer. Yeah, he's never been an inspirational. A and even if he was a minister, he can't do Kiki. He can't Kiki. So he don't minister the word. No. Gospel. Not, but he's not a minister. Yes, he he I'm uses his he's on he uses his but music to minister to people. Yeah. But he does use his music. Yeah. yeah. But he got a platinum. So he can't. So he can't Kiki. He can't. He can't Kiki challenge. Like you, know, you know that's not trash, right? You do know that's not trash. I did. Oh, I thought you were using my Popeye's bag. I'm like, that's not trash, man. That's I'm going to go a little further. <laughs> Use my seeds. Oh, that's a whole other conversation. That's y'all. John K. did the uh, oh, you on stage. Oh, he did. Yeah. yeah In church, though. In church. Yeah. He said, your mother what? I told my mother to call. He didn't know what he was doing. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what he told her. I did not know what that meant. All right. So wait a minute. So that's yeah. what, 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 what I'm just saying. I feel like all I'm saying is this. I'm not one of those people that puts that puts pastors and stuff on that such of a height that they can't right. enjoy life. Right. Like he ain't up there cussing. He ain't up there talking about fornicating Smile. and drinking. He was dancing to a song that is on every radio station, all over the internet, everywhere. With He's his got wife. kids. He's got kids. I'm pretty sure his kids, even though they 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 are his children, I'm sure they know all about Kiki. And and Drake, like it's not that deep. I mean, if you're not having fun, why are you here? Right. Yeah. He's enjoying I mean, his life with his, like you said. How many people can say they've been? Now this is Kiki with his jump off in my house. Right. Yeah, if he had a whole string of women, Kiki and Sandy and Randy and whatever, do you love me? No, he's with his wife, had a good time. And uh, what's it? And, uh, it's about Drake. It's about these girls who 
past relationships like Kiki, do you love me? This, and the next girl, whatever, Cece, whatever her name is, it's do just, you love me? It's about just his, his past relationships. Like, did you really love me? I mean, Are you rolling? Right. Are you right? Now you're there it's for just me. Why do we even care now? Yeah, it's a, I don't, it's a summer song I don't that's care, fun. Huh? I thought it was really, really cute. I love Will Smith's version of it. That was on hilarious. The bridge. I love, like I said, the cast, you know, the two people from This Is Us. That was this cute. was real cute. Russell Wilson, Sierra. I would Theirs was it. so cute. If Russell will actually got been danced, but I get it. That's Russell not, can't dance. Oh, so that's your Ooh, limit. So that's your limit. That was his limit. I thought that his was limit cute. was being her hype man. Right. He I thought that dance. was cute. And I can appreciate that he knew he couldn't. And, and I just, he just, and all of a sudden, and he damn sure can't dance like Sierra. Uh, yes. um, I don't. I don't. There's not a. So between top, the top, not a long list of people that that's like Sierra. But right. between the tide pot challenges and the hot water challenge and all the dumbass challenges these kids are doing nowadays, stay your ass out the street with your Kiki, but keep right. on and have fun. Yeah, don't. Because y'all saw the jump with dude got hit by the car. Okay? Yeah, that was not. I that saw was, the girl. Got hit and by the one car. that got hit by the car was ridiculous because he had enough time. That car had enough time to not hit him. Wait. Like he had been in the street. Wait, I think that car had enough time not to hit him. Well, that thing was the funniest Kiki challenge was the one where the daughter jumped out the car. And she was doing the channel, but the mom kept pressing the accelerator and pulled off without the jerk. And she was chasing out the car because the mom was like, hey, we didn't know about this. That. I probably, I stopped that looking at Kiki challenges. I saw, I saw three cute ones that are not celebrity, regular people. One what? is a set of twins. So okay. she hops up the car and she comes back. When she comes back again, it's actually her twin. Oh, so that was cute. really cute. Okay. Another one I saw, it's an older couple. I'm talking about Silver Alert, like older couple. And they did. With the, with and the, they're doing it. The old dude with the hat. Yeah, him <laughs> and his wife. Yeah, yeah, and she yeah. like kind of backed up on him. I was like, oh, look at, look at seeing Kiki. That was cute. And I just saw one recently where it's some guys, I don't know what country they're in, but they got like a mule in the field or something. I saw that one, yes. Like straight, <laughs> straight out of Indonesia right, or something. Right, yeah, right, I know. Right, right. Actually, the joint that made me laugh was I think it was in Dubai. They was driving. There was a camel on the side of the road. Oh, no, that's funny. Like, yeah, that's and the camel looking like that's funny. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's right. right. Explain that, Kiki. Not the camel. Okay. So, all right. All right. All right. All right. So I'll find So what was the one y'all was talking? Because I hadn't seen it. Y'all was talking so, about the lady with the baby dad getting the heart. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. So we're gonna end it on this. We're gonna wrap it up on this. I'm gonna let. I'm gonna let. Allow me to indulge song. into my, my, because, my, my ratchet. Because my line of thought okay. was so different from there, what, all the comments. There's a text message. I'm all message. about the comments. It's always There's different. a text message going to some. I don't know if he released it, she released it, or they sent it to a third party, third party. Was a text oh, the, com- the whole conversation. Yeah, the whole conversation. Oh, yeah, yeah, all right, cool. I'm with okay, you. so basically, it's a young female. She has three kids by two different men, but she's dating a totally separate guy. She texts him and says that my kids. Just informed me tonight that they need $20 to go on a field trip tomorrow. Do you have the $20? After a series of exchanges, basically he tells her no. And she, at first she said loan it, and then she kind of slipped into a give it to me. And he's like, I don't give money to nobody. The only woman I'm giving money to is going to be my wife. And I agree with him because that's his principle. He's going to stand on it. But then he came back and he also said to her that if your kids wait until the last minute... They don't need to go. Then they don't need to go. Life lesson for them. But she wants to keep... It's, it's only $20 and you got a problem with that at all. Well, it's $20 you don't have. Thank you. So eventually he tells her, why you ask your baby daddies for it? It's two of them. Right. So then she gets mad. I mean, I and it's like, she I mean, done. Like she don't want to be with two. him and all this other stuff. And he's like, he keeps saying thing all over. Your kids shouldn't be going. Like, wait till the last minute. Ask your baby daddies. So finally she come back and she's like, well, I asked them already and they ain't have it. Okay. And this is where I draw the line. First of all, that's crazy. I want to know back the backstory. How long y'all been dating? It has been had long. It can. It could not have been. Long. It's been long enough for right, for her to do that before. Thank you. But my thing is this: one, I agree with him. Your my kids know. You wait till the fourteenth hour to ask. Your answer is even no. Hell no. Fuck no. You're not going. Hell no. <laughs> You not going. God, they got three they, options. They got three options. They got I'm three options. I'm with I told you. my kids, I need four oh, in seventy two hours. Home. You my homie. I like you. Know you what? got three options. <laughs> you love got you. love you to death. I swear to God. I can't do it because I need forty eight <laughs> to seventy two hours before you ask for anything, especially involving money. Because right, because I'm with you. Because my hours. oldest put it on me, and it was like, "What are you not going?" Thank you. you she told me on up. as I was taking her to um before kids. She was like, "What well, I need, so and so. I was supposed to go to." Did you tell your mother? Thank you. No. I'm telling you, Bobby, you show it. Because I was it wasn't important for today. I, I, I will see you in the front office. But my thing is, like, later. usually they got permission slips. Like, they the permission slip ain't come you. home. 
Thank you. And then the thing about it is, most filters you know, you got to pay for what, weeks or months in advance. Correct. That's what I'm saying. So what, what filter are they right. going on? Right. But you can just get oh, the money and, and, and another thing, is it $20 per kid? That's $40. She don't that's $60. But, 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 she got three. But, but, but look, if you three? Live, she had three kids. Oh, okay. hell no. But like, two of them. That's, that's a lot of money. $60. Like the, the email or the original post, the original post didn't even have the text message mm-hmm. conversation. It was just like a scenario or whatever. But I was like, well, one, where were you going with three kids and only $20? Thank you. And two, how does, uh, um, how does a field trip sneak up on you? Thank you. That's what I, I I don't yeah. That was two things. I wasn't about the whole. It's only twenty. But I'm with y'all. I don't feel like he I don't he, have he, it. He and that's what like bullshit. Lesson. Blah blah blah. Whatever. That's that's She's what like there. a lot of women right. was was saying. But I do was saying, well, you know, they already got they they have fathers. Right. He's not the father. Blah blah whatever. And then and like, was she asked whole the bunch of bullshit back and forth. Thank I'm like, you. was she asked yeah. the fathers and they did not have it. It should have ended how, there. How three niggas don't have came two. between them. Right, I'm sorry. How, two, how two dudes can't put twenty dollars together? But I mean, sometimes you can't. If it's the day before payday, it might be a little tight. You just don't know. It wasn't in your budget. But, but, like it I'm could sorry. happen. But, 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 it could happen. Three happen. humans. You have three kids. Apparently, um, just according to testaments, the days ain't shit. You the mom. You supposed to be the who you know. I am woman. I take care of my kids. Roar, all that woman, bullshit. Hear me roar. All that bullshit. So why well, gotta be bullshit? You got twenty dollars, and, and that's my it's twenty dollars. The thing, okay, first yeah, of all, apparently they ain't going that far. They getting kid, the happy meal. When the kid, <laughs> wherever they going, because they ain't going on the field trip. When the kids, it was came, probably twenty dollars a kid. When the kids came from her, I'm what? like, is it twenty dollars a kid? Was she twenty dollars short altogether? As somebody that but, does field trips, it was probably twenty dollars a kid. Then, but, the, but the text message was, I only need $20. Yes. But you had three kids. So right. maybe she had picked up the other six. Where were you going? Maybe she had the rest of it. She just needed 20 to make up the, the, the whatever the total amount was. But when her kids wait to the last minute, obviously she don't right. have to $20. I was, I so whatever she, whatever she scrounged up was her last. You asked me at the night before a field trip, no. There's no discussion. There's no negotiation. There's no conversation. No, you would not go. Sit your ass in that room for kids who can't go in right. color and paint and tell... Right. They don't do it. Been in that room. Been in, they don't do it. Been there. Sit in the room with the movies and the crayons. You say you've been in that room. Been there. <laughs> been there. I learned my lesson. My kids been there. They had to learn their lesson. Because the next time yeah, I feel no, you come, right. I mean, what you're saying right. is valid. My kids, when they feel they valid. come home the day of with a paper in their hand off the bus. Can I go? But f- but from that That's text, though, but from that it. text though, from, from what I saw from the text, though, from the text, it was like that wasn't the first time she asked him for money. It couldn't have been. Uh, why? why but, couldn't it because have been? you read the look to the text, it's like oh, the way the text was written. What did? What did? What did he follow that? Because he he hit logic yeah. first. They told you last minute, so they shouldn't go. I'm with him on that. Last minute, all that. It's so, so funny when you date women, kids, not matter when the money comes up. You the man, you the last man telling people. You always a team machine when it comes to that stuff like that. Mm-hmm. They never ask the day's followers first. They don't ask because you the nice well, guy. Well, according, she, according to the text, she asked them first. They said no. They yeah. didn't have it. Yeah, and he was like, according to according to the text. Uh, we don't know if it's true or not. Right. And, and so he said he called bullshit on it. He was like, yeah, they got the money. They're not trying to give it exactly. to exactly. And she knew that. Right. But I, that's not his job. That's, that's, that's not his job. It's three of them. None of them are his. Right. So why why do I, why does the default always falls on the on the last guy to get there? To yeah. take, mm-hmm. to take a piece. Right. No. And the comments were like the guy, the last guy, mm-hmm. as you pointed out, Steve, that he was evil mm-hmm. because he didn't give him twenty dollars. Right. So now he the bad guy now. He's evil. That's messed right. up. Baby daddies is cool. Right. 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 And right. nobody's right. mad at the because, baby daddies. Because she expected from them. Not to give. But no, I'm, I'm, not sure. I'm talking about the comment section. Like, I was reading the comment section. Oh, in the comments, they were. All, all so the, in the comment all, section. All, all the angry women in the comment section. Mm-hmm. Nobody's mad at, at the, the baby daddies. At the baby daddies. Everybody's mad at the dude that said as, as, he's wrong. Exactly. They're he like, well, up. Yeah, and the thing up. about it was, it's like, well, well, if you're giving them sex, you can't use $20. I'm what? like, is that all you're worth? It's $20. So you a profit to them? Like, no, you a hold out. You cool with that? Last, Thank you. Man. No budget help. No, see, the, right. the last father, or baby, whoever he is, is an 18 machine. 
Because I know the first two ain't doing nothing. So that falls on you now. No, but it's only two. It's only two of that. The first two. Is. But I'm saying the first two, right? But my thing is, that's to reverse it. So one, one daddy has two kids. Yeah. But let me tell you something. To reverse it, as somebody who does not have children, but I date, and the people I date, nine times out of ten, in my age bracket, are going to have children. For me, I would be offended by that too. Like, if you're coming to me saying, look, kids got a field trip. And you know you got twenty dollars. That's gonna be my first question. Did you call their mama? Did you call their mama? And I'm not saying that I wouldn't like depending on where we were in our relationship and all of that. I'm not saying I wouldn't do it, but that will be my first question. Hold hold, hold on, classic. But here's the thing though. It would be after you, like you would be farther on in the situation. You would understand. You would understand the relationship, right? Like front and the back end, and you know you you was not his first option. Right. Right? She's reading. She's ignoring the show. I'm reading the text. Oh, I'm sorry. Because I hadn't read it. Okay, okay I have a whole I mean, different I mean, opinion now that I've read the text, but go ahead. I mean, I was just saying, like, in the situation, you just spied. But that would be a thing if you spied the one in their relationship. And you understood, like, understood what, it, what it was, and you decided to go on with it, and you already knew you wasn't his first option okay. to ask you. She, right. she I have a whole different opinion on this man. She's only been two that, things. Now I've read, read it, it, I have a whole different opinion. That shit? No, no. I'm going to tell you. Go ahead, go ahead. She lying. The $20 That's is for where her. I was at. That's where I was the at. The $20 is for her, and she used the kids thinking that dad would make him give her the money. Correct. She's lying. Because Correct. her first text was, I need $20. And he was like, for what? Right. Oh, it's for the kids. They got a field trip last minute. Correct. That's a lie. She wanted the tw- and he knew he was, and he knew she was lying. He wanted, she wanted $20. It was for her. He said no because he knew her ass was lying. That's a wrap. She should. She was better off saying, "Hey, she lying." She was better off saying, "Yo, I got no money to give me twenty dollars." Right. Or I want right. to. Right. Because so you didn't put it on the kids. Take twenty dollars. And that's why he was. And all this about the the, the last minute field trip or whatever. Because she would have known. Something the field trip. But they don't just you take this spot where we go. I made it. I, made, I, I commented on. Um, I mean, I'm just, I'm just confused. How does a field trip stick? That's what, that was my comment in, in the group I was in. And um, one of the people that replied to my post was like, it happens more often than, than you would think. I'm like, how? She okay it. They're leaving the my school thing is campus. This. Now, I will say this. I will say this. You at least have to pick them up. I will say this. Them off. If, if. If there's still seats available and things like that, you can do a last day, last minute type situation. But that, but, but what I'm that's saying, that's the scenario. No, no. The more I'm I saying, know. yeah, 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 it can happen. Yeah, if I'm doing, like for example, for example, for example, for example, let's say, let's say I'm doing a, a field trip to the museum, and I got 40 tickets and only 35 kids. But, bring me a, a like I'm gonna give a due date. Like I'm gonna say, okay, no, 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 it's wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm saying I'm gonna give a due date and say. Everything needs to be turned in by Friday. But if Friday rolls and the field trip is next Wednesday, but if Friday rolls around and I still have 10 seats and I got to fill up this bus because I'm paying for a bus, yeah, I'll say, look, I still got some seats available. Well, if you didn't turn in your me, field trip, me, you can still turn it in. That's all I'm saying. For me, as a, as a, as a dad, because I'm not the most involved, like I have like projects, homework, I don't know if that's correct, but nothing. But, School enough to know this shit posted. Oh, it's oh, been out there. No, it's been I out know. there. It's been out there. It's happening. I might know the exact date because I'm just me <laughs> or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But you day mom. You picking up a class, you had to see this. There's no way. But what I'm saying well, to I'm, you all is no, this, no, I'm not it saying, can happen. No, I'm not saying but whether she it's lying. Available. But I'm saying whether it's available or not. I understand what you're saying, whether it's available or not, but the actual that is happening. And that is they. You know what I'm saying? I, and I get that. My thought, again, I go back to my kids come to me the night before. <laughs> she's, right. See? she's hilarious. She's right? lying, ain't she? She's lying. And it's not the first time she's lying. It's something because you got mad over $20. Because your kids, like you said, are not going to spill shit. Is that that important? You, this, you, your kid broke y'all up. This still trip broke y'all up. Over twenty dollars. My bad parents. Last like minute. Four, four grown people had twenty dollars with the kid. Yeah. They had the point though, but he like I can't I did. They ain't got it. That shouldn't fall on him. Yeah. Right. She's mad. Right. At, she's more mad at him than anything. That's right. what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. She's mad at the dude that she's she's 
Live it. Not this story. Kids are his. Right. Right. And like she, I said, she's it's absolutely, me. She, that's the they, they broke up because something that had put up for some kids. Right. Here. So here's here's what I'm saying. How easy it was for them to walk away. That's all I'm saying. They yeah. wasn't right. together right. that long. They right. were just like it was right. just like a, a they thing they were trying out. Right. He knew what he was getting into. Right. Whatever that, but. How easy it was for him to be like, alright, cool. It was, it, was, it, was, it, was fun, it was fun while it lasted. It was so easy for her to break to leave him just like that. <laughs> oh, it's off. Just so quick. Bam. Bye. Right. right. And she was like, and he was like, it was fun while it lasted. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Fun while it lasted. Alright, cool. Peace. <laughs> That's, That's what I'm saying. Up. They couldn't have been together that long. Yeah, like, they couldn't have been together like, that long. Really... There, there was no love there. No, there couldn't was, have been. There was no love there. You were you were my stand in. Right. And my question is, after all that said done, didn't the kids go in there field trip. Right. Did they make it? No. Nah. Because she said, I'll do what I have to do. I'll just ask somebody else for the money. She had no plan. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. You ask people. You going to go around post a pedal begging for something and again, it should have stopped at when the field trip tomorrow. No, you're not going. No. I she, mean, it, the way it's, no. really, it's like, it's like she they should, need $20 she right, should, right now. She should have alleviated everything in there. When they came up and said, Ma, there's a field trip, we need 20 off. What is a field trip? Tomorrow. Okay, then you guys won't be going. Now we're going to end of the Tight. conversation, and that would have involved that's the baby good, daddies, that's exactly the boyfriend, what I would have done. nobody. I mean, you know what? I'm going to stop right I there. I go one further. The trip might have been like that day. Because my kids are the oldest. Number one. She's done that to me. I'm like, uh, when is it? Today. You're right. going. All right, well. Y'all let me know what y'all think in them comments. We're going to wrap it up. Like we can do this there's, all day. There's no right. way. I'll be down. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All right, you guys. Meek, take us out. We got chicken frying or fish frying. We got all kinds of stuff going up. And we got deer in the yard. We got all kinds of shit going on. Over the window. It's a whole lot of party going on. A whole lot of stuff going on. All right. Cool. The next time your side chicken, your main chicken. Ask you for $20. To go on some, some, some fake-ass faux field trip. <laughs> Be like, really, <laughs> bitch? <laughs> okay, uh, AV man. Hit the stop button, AV man. Uh, you stupid. <laughs>